Okay, what up ladies and gents? It's your favorite Asian robot right here, and I'm excited to check out the new weapons, yo. Mm. Now, important thing for today, okay? I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this early. My new rap song will release on SoundCloud later today. I want to do the video first, but I think we can all understand that with the new war bond coming today, it's really not an appropriate time for release, and I wasn't expecting the patch earlier this week, so lots of stuff has gotten in the way, but the SoundCloud release will be today. So for those waiting for the rap song, don't you worry. SoundCloud release coming soon. And yes, it will be by tonight. Okay? Alright, let's get the stream up and running. There we go. Good, 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 good. I'm seeing new people showing up. Okay, good. Let's first put this there. Good. First, plug my phone in. <coughs> okay, good. Now, what we'll do is we will share. I'm glad you've been enjoying my content, Mr. Brian. That's always good. Yes, indeed. And I chade, yes, indeed. Now, if any of my members wish to join me for some weapons testing, let me know. I would love to have you along. Okay. Hello, Glade. Okay. There we go. Tweet has gone out. We are ready to roll. We are ready to go. I think everything is good. Um, as of, of course, you know, I'm going to be testing every single weapon set. So, uh, if there's anybody that wishes to join me, any of my members that wish to join me for the evening show, uh, I would love to have everybody fill up the spots and we can go do some weapon testing. I don't expect to um, do anything too early, but I do wish to see how things will run. Let me see, which cape should I wear? Should I wear the new one? I'm thinking about it. Okay, maybe I will. Sure, Nightshade, would love to have you along. Come on in. <coughs> Now first, as much as I really want to test the Eruptor, we're going to give the Adjudicator a go first. So it's a Marksman Rifle. Hmm. Okay, Medium Armor Penetrating. Let's compare its stats to the Diligence. <coughs> Excuse me. The Diligence does more damage, lower capacity. This thing, higher fire rate, uh, higher recoil, Medium Armor Penetrating. Hmm... But 25 capacity. Okay, interesting. Hello, Doog. Will you be joining me for weapons tests? Ah, Glade's here. Okay, very well. Perish with every I'll wait second. for Nightshade. Now, don't expect that we'll be going to a high-level mission. We'll actually be going to a relatively low-level mission. So I can check things out. <coughs> but do collect any uh, rare samples along the way. Actually, wait, crap. Ah. <sighs> The Helldivers battled for freedom. Where are we? Let us decide where to enter the fray. Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where are all the divers? All the divers are on Vernon Wells, but... Yo, there, there's literally a planet called Marfark? Really? Really? For real? <laughs> no problem, Duke. I understand. There's a planet called Marfark. Hmm... Not quite sure how to feel about this. Allied destroyer that should be the nightshade. Okay, good. In that case, we're carrying on. Okay, we shall begin. 
not with Helm's Deep. But a single triumph more, and the operation is complete. Let's begin with a simple eradication mission. It'd serve as a good way of testing the basics. FTL yep. jump to the Vernon Wells system. We're back on Vernon Wells, of course. Good old Vernon. Expect the tremors, expect the pain. I'll swap to friends only, so there won't be any randos joining us for this one. Okay. I'm pretty sure Marfark... <laughs> Still laughing about it. I'm pretty sure Marfark is a cold planet. So I'm not going to run localization confusion, so this goes a little faster. Um... Let me see. I heard that the localized confusion doesn't work for these four spawns. I mean, I don't know if it does or doesn't. I'm just gonna not run it. <laughs> I mean, the jar can also damage the back of a Hulk anyway, so realistically speaking, um. Anything can damage the back of the hull, but I am looking forward to seeing the Eruptor in action. I'm going to test the Adjudicator first, see what it can and cannot do. And once I get a feel for it, um, and I've come to some conclusions, I'll swap over to the Eruptor. And of course, later if I can, I need my grenade pistol. Excuse me, just after there. And I'm going to need my crossbow. Then I can twist both. So welcome to the show, everybody. We hope you guys will enjoy it. We are going to test some weapons. We are going to find out what we can do. And most importantly, we are going to fight for the glorious Super Earth. For our honor as Blood Ravens. Space Marines. We are said to die heroes' deaths. But we shall not die, no. It is our enemies who shall taste death and defeat tonight. Well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it feel. All the galaxy looks to you for salvation. Let nothing stand in the way of liberty. Requesting sentry. Requesting sentry. Calling down a sentry. Calling down a support weapon. Uh, it's got semi and it's got auto. Okay, it definitely can't hurt the Hulk from the front. It's hard to control and you kind of have to mag dump with it. Call me on top of the hole. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. I can do that. Have a happy day. See about the berserkers. Ooh, Mystic Blade. The auto mode uh, sucks. I, gotta try I see. Mm, 
it can slowly kill a berserker from the head, but it's like four shots. Uh, whoa. Scope is a sickle type scope. What options do I have on it? Yeah, the adjudicator is not great. Wow, um, this is disappointing. I unlocked the bar, I haven't used it, so... <laughs> I mean, at least it's not an expensive weapon, but it's the first one you unlock, so it's cheap, but I'm very disappointed with it. Because, like, it can hit shot, but... By the time, like, if I, if I apply the semi-auto fire, then, okay, I'm just killed by explosion right there. That is difficulty 5, so, hmm. Uh, I've only gotten one ship upgrade so far. Corey, welcome to the cool bot. I've only gotten the uh, XL, XXL hanger, and I haven't even uh, tried really using it yet. I am, however, going to try using it right now, so... I can say that this thing is okay at Berserkers. <clears throat> Damn, killed by the Devastator. <clears throat> Can it kill charges from the front, Crow Gaming? Hello. That's the problem with the Rupper, you can't use that for like range. Yeah. It knocks you around too much. Well, I mean, it's literally an explosive weapon. You weren't supposed to use it at point blank range. That's for sure. Okay, at least it's cleared. Throw me toward the uh, landing area. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Okay, buds. You making your way here, Nightshade? Cause they got two hulks. Okay. Oh, he swiped me in the face. <laughs> Lol. Oh, I got killed by burning instantly as well. Just can you throw us down. Yeah, the Adjudicator is uh, pretty terrible. So, yep. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, Glade. Sacrificing. No, it's all good. Yeah, Steven, you, you missed my video? You do, you do realize that the video is already out. And Pro Gaming, it's only channel members of the appropriate rank that get to join us, so... Uh, I thank you for your offer, but you have to be a true supporter to join us. The adjudicator is not good. Now, what was that sound? Oh, it's Arcane. Look at this guy just invading my room. What's up, nerd? Now, don't forget to like the stream if you haven't already. 
But yeah, Steven, if you didn't see about the new ship modules, make sure to turn my notifications to all because you missed my video. My video was out as soon as this all dropped. And the Liberated Penetrator and the Adjudicator are both, like, to be honest, not impressive. Like, if they're gonna make them do so little damage, when the jar is already at, like, 300 and a 15 ammo capacity, I agree. These should be, like, <clears throat> 50, um, 60 ammo guns that you spam fire at the enemy. Because it's supposed to shred hordes, right? With a tougher recoil. It's not shredding anything. Scorcher and Jar are still going to be top Hello, tier. Robot. I suspect that I Kato will probably work better on the tonight. Sorry, did not understand a single word of that. Because uh, with the notification sound popped up at the same time. What'd you say? Complete. Sample I feel the adjudicator might work better on bugs. No. Why would I use this when bugs are mostly light armored? Like, unless I really am so desperate to kill a Bile Spirit, but even then, why wouldn't I use the Jar, which features six times the damage with just ten rounds less? It's, it's not even a competition at this point. The Adjudicator is literally useless, as far as I can tell. I mean, unless somebody really likes it, but if I was going to use the Adjudicator or something similar, I may as well go with the Liberator Penetrator instead. Like, that's how I feel about it, because this thing comes with ten mags. This thing's only got six. So, the Adjudicator itself feels very weak, and even if, you know, we would go for the Bug Hunters, like, even if we were to use it for the Bug Hunting folks, I think the Eruptor might do better, but we'll see. Alright, Arcane, you may join, since it's uh, friends only today. Anyway, I'll start the next up. Mission coordinates locked. Yeah, pretty much. I agree with that, Merc Platypus. Like, even in just that limited test, I took one look at this weapon, and I have, like, I have learned the ins and outs of pretty much every single weapon. And I can tell you right now that I would not use the Adjudicator in any situation that, remotes, that remotely resembles actual combat. Because the, the more that I look at it, the more I'm thinking to myself, why the heck would I use this one weapon, which I know to be fully terrible? I'm like, hmm. You never played Helldivers? Well, get it now. It's a fairly cheap game. You can unlock everything for free if you play enough. It's a great, fantastic choice. We'll go in without the localization confusion because unnecessary anyway. Um, I'm guessing I'll bring the usual. I am, however, going to test a little something. Um, this and supply pack. I want to see whether or not the Eruptor can close fabricators. I have heard good things about it. I yes, it can. I've tried that already. The vent then? Do you have to shoot the vent or yes. what? Yes, shoot the vent. So it's it used the same way as the oil can, except you don't have to ricochet it. Oh, so it's just inside the vent. Well, I'll try it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I've already tried it and it works. That was like one of the first things I wanted to try. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the Eruptor is going to act like a mini autocannon, then I am going to, you know, really have, enjoy it. The crossbow, we don't know yet. We'll, we'll test it. We'll test it out uh, later on. But first, I'm going to test out the Eruptor. Haven't unlocked the crossbow yet. I have to play and get enough medals. Good, Jimmy. You should smell what I'm cooking. Now don't forget to like the stream, get the word out. Objective critical strategy available. Objective critical strategy Lol. no longer available. The fate of all humanity's children are in your hands. Do not let them fall. <laughs> Wait, I thought this was bolt action. Why does this have a mag? Oh sh! It killed those scout striders. Damn. All right, all right. No, lol, Arcane, you trying to murder yourself over there? <laughs> no. Lol. Bear with me, I just woke up too. 
Yeah, I know. Oh, that hurt you through the wall. Yeah, it does that. This thing has projectile travel time, which is interesting. Ow. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Wow, you really gotta watch your fire with this. Yeah, gun. it's got a Holy. huge radius. Very disabled. Yeah. And more importantly than that, it seems to be... Unlike the autocannon, the shrapnel is much more dangerous against lightly armored enemies. This is definitely going to be a uh, bug-killing weapon. Um, against the automatons, it's more of a use-at-your-own-wrist type weapon. So I can see the value in it, but it is deadly, deadly dangerous. I'm going to move up there and see if I can clear the fab with this. I got the big iron to protect me if shit goes wild. Okay, so yeah, you really can take out fabs. Just one quick shot inside. Nice. This is gonna change the game though. Like, hmm. Not gonna lie, this is kind of this is kind of game changing. All right, let's go. Let's go finish out this mission. I'll need a proper loadout for this. I haven't even called down my <laughs> anti-material rifle yet. And I will. Requesting advanced weaponry. Requesting jackpack. Requesting jackpack. Very interesting. Too slow for bugs, but not if you use something like the stalwart or the arc door. This might actually make the stalwart viable. So, like, one person can now spec into Horde Clear without losing out the extra ability to deal with, like, charges and the like. You can take out a Scout Strider from the front, so there's that. But yeah, this bolt action shit, hella annoying. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's the one downside I found to it as well. Yeah, it's almost as if like I'll have to use something else as my primary, you know? Oh. Oh, I want to throw my throw my grenade on it. Go ahead. Uh -oh. yeah. Hmm. You can throw I it on it the next one. Three, three, three. You can try it on one that's shooting at you. Because the ones that are shooting at me, I can't. I gotta murder them. Oh shit, yeah, we should be sample hunting. Damn it. I forgot. This thing one shot devastator? Oh, yes, it does. Well, I mean, just like with all other explosives, it will if it hits them in the head. That's the way I'm seeing it. Oh, killed by nightshade? Jesus. What'd you do? You shoot me or something? I know. But did you shoot me with it, or was it just the AoE? That's the AoE. In that case, shoot that shit away from me, buddy. Damn it. Because I was shooting the strider and yeah. <laughs> okay, so with this weapon, do not attack anything that is near your teammate. Leave them to handle it themselves. Because that will make more sense. Whoa, 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 guys, guys, guys. If somebody's in front of you, do not shoot this thing. Found something. Okay, rare samples. Uh, please spread out, except for like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here. If a teammate is there, do not shoot, do not shoot. New bag. Hmm. Doesn't seem to one-shot Berserkers. Yeah, Berserkers just have way too much health. Okay, everybody spread out on the map, go do something different. Everybody just do something different each and go collect samples. Because Eruptors are too dangerous. Um, I'm gonna go west side. So nobody follow me. I'll hit up 
towards no north. Yeah, sure. One person do objective. Then after that, we can leave. Thank you, Corey. Glad you like the content. Why do I see somebody following me? Arcane, you scare me. I'm skipping around. I'm skipping around the other side. Okay. Scaring me. I'm afraid. I was trying to actually hit this turret. I wanted to see how much. I hit it twice already. That's fair. This one? Up ahead? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. Yep. I think not not at all. It's not even no. like... Yeah. yeah, it's not doing nothing. Okay. Well, now we're doomed. Yep. Yeah, I have thing. a quasar. No, no, I'm fine. I sh have an orbital laser. I'm just waiting for a tip. There we go. Requesting orbital. Engaging orbital laser. I keep forgetting that I'm wearing the servo arm armor for fun. Okay, this base is dead. I think the Eruptor is going to be a very interesting weapon, but very, very dangerous. It's definitely a shake-up to the current uh, meta, for sure. Ending in an eagle. Here comes the cavalry. Have a taste of democracy! <laughs> nope, didn't one-shot the Strider from the front. Hmm, I thought it did, but no. Maybe if it hits it high. Uh, somebody throw me in wherever, it doesn't matter where. The sniper? You talking about the adjudicator? It's trash, literally trashed here. Uh, right now we're testing out the eruptor, see how, see whether or not it's good. Um, thank you. Oh, that's beautiful on the <clears throat> The thermite grenade. Mm -hmm. Are you hitting it from the back or the front? The front. I hit him directly in the front. Because I, I threw like two, three, and it still didn't kill a hole. I think if it lands on the head, they said it would kill him, but uh, we'll have to see. I'm not going to be testing that. I'm too used to stuns. For bugs? The bug loadout's already out, Stuart. You can just follow that. Oh, you're talking about these weapons reviewed for bugs when the next major order comes in. Because otherwise, like, there's no sense in uh, doing something that goes against the major order. Crap. I just realized now I do have to get the samples back. Okay, heading back down. Once you guys have finished all the side objectives, convene at the, uh, convene at the main objective. We won't start the main objective until it's all done, though. Because now samples are a thing. Wow, automatons came out of the mountain to kill me. That's beautiful. Tactical asset nearby. That is wild. Of course, anyone disobeying the major order is not just a traitor, but also an asshole. Playing what you want? Yeah, sure, you can do that if you're a coward. But you see, we ain't pussy like that. Not in Super Earth Elite, anyway. We do what is necessary to be done. Uh, whoa, Tyrone. First of all, we gotta remove that message right there. Do not ever talk about that game here. In case you didn't know, you're supporting a game that supports racism toward the Asian people. Please do not ever mention that game here. I do not want my current sponsors or my chat or anything that I do associated with that game at all. So, um, do not talk about that game. We've stopped all content for that game. Please take note that you should, if you still have that game, uninstall it from your system. Unless you want to support racism, because trust me, those guys are evil. They allowed threats of physical violence in their official Discord. They allowed racist statements to be made. Stay away from them. They are literally evil. Um, we're on Vernon Wells because Vernon Wells is the uh, literal priority right now. We don't have any other choice. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up with that turret. Shame. 
have to wait now. What game is that? Uh, it's a game called Dauntless, but please never talk about it, never mention it, don't ask me about it. I want nothing to do with that game. We have nothing to do with that game on this channel. Already mentioned it, and I will give no further attention to it. So, do not ask any more questions, I've already spoken about it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then better that you do not know. I'm glad you removed it, Tyrone, because seriously, racism in, Ooh, in this oh, day and I age is terrible. Thermite. Did you manage to kill a Hulk? That looks cool. No, I, uh, just, uh, something else. Whoa. What'd you kill with it? <laughs> uh, Nightshade killed him, but, uh, it is a pretty cool looking grenade, man. It's cool, but uh, I find this use very limited. I tried to make it work, I couldn't. Yeah, fair enough. I'll wait till other people try it out to see whether or not it works. I'm liking the new War Bond so far. It's got some interesting stuff in it. But I find the Eruptor highly precise. It require, or rather, it requires a high level of precision. That being said, it does a lot. Being very legit about this, the Eruptor Hello, robot. fulfills a very, very primal need inside me. Tonight. Look at this. One Eruptor shot in the Fabricator, you can take it out. This is the only primary that can take out Fabricators. It's insane. So the Eruptor has a lot going for it, but it's very slow. It's very, very slow. Nice job on the radar tower. Okay, you got a bot patrol on you. I'm gonna try and snipe some of them from this range. It's got a projectile travel time though, so you gotta be very, very careful. Number one, don't hit your teammates, and number two, the like projectile travel time affects a lot of stuff. However, being able to one-shot a berserker is hilarious. So I do like it. The crossbow will take me a while to earn the medals, but yeah, absolutely. Jinga Strider straight in the face is pretty satisfying too. Yep. Okay, Arcane and me got a Hulk over there. Can't kill it with the Eruptor, unfortunately. It's leg. It's leg? I think I, I got a hit marker for it. Shit, about a stems. It's okay, it's okay, I got you. Uh, just give me a second, <clears throat> yeah? I need to... Yep. Okay, calling, calling you down. Forgive me. Oh, cool, I'm gonna try this out on the hole. Okay. What are you trying out? Please tell the chat. Thermite. Okay. Good. The eruptor can destroy the the um crate, the the yeah storage crate thing. Yeah, yeah, that is known. New mag. But it cannot kill a Hulk so far. At least not from the front, anyway. Yeah, I mean from the back would be fine, but the problem is like if I was waiting to kill a Hulk from the back, yeah, that'd it's probably no be. Good on hold. Yeah. Can you fight the ships from the bot? What? Can you fight the ships from the bot fabricators? You talking about the drone gunships? Y'all gotta be specific with what you ask, all right? You ask me ships from the fabricators, I'm thinking, what the hell is this man even talking about? Yeah, the Eruptor's pretty cool. If you hit the top part of the Strider, you can one-shot it. But that's only because the Eruptor, like, has a kind of fragmentation dealio. Uh, should I call you back in, Glade? Uh, yes, please. Okay, uh, I'm sorry if it's not near where anything is. Meh. Yeah, the top part of the Strider is a one-shot with the Eruptor, so... It's a high-precision sure. weapon. But it works well. Okay. 
The thermite grenade will not kill Hulk. I hit him with three of them and he still got me. I think if, I think yeah, you I have to you. land it on your face because uh, somebody told me in chat they one shot it if with a hit to the face specifically. With the thermite grenade? Yeah. I called him a liar. Nah, I believe him because the head is different armor, remember? It's medium armor. So if they hit it square on the head, theoretically it should burn through. But because Thermite is like a burn through type weapon, I'm not quite sure like how good it'll actually end up being. It's definitely gonna be a bug weapon. It's, yeah, it's probably gonna be a bug weapon. I'll pick up the samples that you got right? Ah, okay. Thank you, Nightshade. That's good. Didn't want to go home without him. Okay, I'll go to the bottom button. In but I do like the Eruptor. Honestly, it feels like a very interesting weapon. I feel like it's got some serious potential. You know? This... I'm feeling, I'm feeling like this plus the arc door is the jam. Yeah. Let's see it. Calling in reinforcements. Yeah, I knew I want the arc door upgrade, but I think that might be the jam. Yeah, it might be better for like all those types of units, but overall, it seems, it seems like it might not beat the stuns though, because stuns are just universally useful. That's the only thing I fear. Yeah, I tried the thermite thinking, oh yeah, it'll take out the Hulk, but nah. Yeah, it it's needs to be three. like a one grenade, one shot type dealio. Yeah, it's like, yeah, nah, so I went back to stun, so it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, still more utility. Eruptor machine gun supply pack, also a possibility, yeah. But would you be talking about the LMG or the HMG? Because that might change things. I feel like if you treat the Eruptor more like a support weapon, it would probably work better. Mm -hmm. Rather than a primary. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking I would probably have the Arc Thor as my primary. And return, like, bring back a sort of, like, heavy frontliner type meta. Because the only issue I had with the Arc Thor or anything like that was that it couldn't deal with uh, fabricators, open up chests. But with the Eruptor, I can. Now I've got so much ammo anyway, like why not bring a shield generator as well, you know? Well, Demon Luck, the Eruptor seems to be a huge winner. The Adjudicator is, uh, it is booty. And not the nice kind of booty, it's not the thick kind of booty, it's not my booty. Alright, it's very not my booty. Um, so, the only thing left on my list is the crossbow, but I don't have enough medals for that. So we're currently on low level missions. Just trying things out, getting a feel for things, you know. Alright. Let's extract. And we're also farming. Because we don't need the ultra rares just yet. We're just farming a little bit. Yeah, giving things a little bit of a farm farm. But definitely for me, at least, the Eruptor is a huge, huge winner. I'm talking huge winner. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the yeah. value of this. Like, it just feels good. It's strong. Like, I don't like this uh, Devastator, no problem. The sights are also not misaligned on this weapon. So if I'm accurate enough with it, which kind of throws my aim off a little bit with the AMR, but if I'm accurate with it, there you go. Devastator popped in one shot. It's just, it just feels good. And it's like really nice to use. So if you like playing a sniper, you know, you like hitting your targets, this is definitely a good weapon. But it does have projectile yeah. travel time. So I would say that's something that uh, players are going to have to get used to. Definitely can't be used as a primary, even though it's a primary. Yep, it's, de it's basically like a mini auto cannon instead. Because my support weapon, the AMR, like right now, Axe is more like more like a primary weapon than this thing does. Just like that. So from that alone I can tell that, you know, it's it's not gonna be an easy weapon for a lot of people to utilize. Um, it's definitely gonna require some careful control. I 
mean, at its very core, it is effectively a bolt action, in my opinion, heavy sniper. But I'm a little disappointed because the description that we received on the PlayStation blog said that it would be like a, you know, like a, what was it? A fragmentation type weapon? It doesn't really seem to fragment. So like it seems almost like a one and done kind of deal to me. Could be wrong I was on that. But more. more fragmentation, yeah. That and the projectile, like I said, the projectile travel time is what kills it for me. Cause I don't expect the long ass projectile travel time. And that hurts its value a lot. But in a fight, it's pretty darn good. It does what it's supposed to do, and it's definitely a stronger version. It's like the next step up from the jar. It's like, you know what? I like the jar, but I, I, want, I need something stronger. But the problem is it doesn't fragment if it doesn't hit the target, and you cannot use it at close range, so. Did the grenade pistol get a lot of armor? No. Uh, we haven't tested it yet, but it's got about eight shots, and we'll have to test it out when we get it. So this is this is like basically the start of our testing. So don't ask about all the weapons yet. If you see us using the weapon, um, then you can ask about it because we haven't gone through everything yet. So far, we've only done the adjudicator and the eruptor. Personal tests. Call in the extractor. Uh, ready? Uh, as well, so to splash the ground as well. It works really well for taking up the the really low level chumps. Did you say you were ready for me to call it? Yeah, yeah. Call, call, call. Okay. The only thing we have to worry about is like making sure everyone's there because of samples, but other than that, yeah, we can call it in. I can see it splashing the ground, but it doesn't seem viable to me because um, based on the sheer number of enemies that I'm facing, you know, I don't think I'll have the chance to hit the ground before their gunfire like absolutely shreds me. And also, like, because you're using it as a... Yeah, you'll need something... Like, I feel that with this thing, you will definitely need something to cover close range. So, this would definitely pair better with the arc thrower than with the AMR. Because this is effectively running in the same role as the AMR anyway. But if you're good with bolt action type weapons, or weapons that have... Uh, a strong fragmentation type style. Yeah, it's pretty decent. The AOE is far more deadly to your teammates though than to your the enemies. I do have to say that. Here to help. Alright, head back to what I was doing. supply beacon! Uh, will everything be obtained today? Probably not everything, but we're gonna focus on the weapons first. Like, that's our primary goal. You're ruining my testing box. Oh, for what a second I thought... I thought you were talking about me. Because I'm the bot! So... Oh. <laughs> no, we lost the blade! What? What happened? Uh, you probably DC'd, buddy. Yeah. Shit, he was carrying explosion samples. Explosion radius. Oh, explosion radius about 10 meters. That's about 10 meters. That's about... <clears throat> Reasonable. Sorry, I'm trying to keep you alive. But it does work really nicely if you hit the striders up top, which I'm kind of loving. Not gonna lie. I mean, I do have to account for, like, projectile oh, fall off oh, and stuff, oh. but... Oh, oh, oh. Shooter's like, I want to see, like, if he's actually... No, no, no. I, I can't. I've got too many of these on me. We need to go. Alright. We can do more testing Hold next on. round. Yep.
Blade, run. Damn. No, Blade. No, he still, he still gets the samples because he's here. We can make it. Huh? Damn. Oh, wait. He was what? so close. Nightshade died. Lol. Oh. I had their samples too. No. You're on the ship. It should be okay. You died after, okay. but let, let's hope that uh, it works well. Uh, you're actually right, Mike. It does it does explode in the air, so it does have a, a range limit. So you're not wrong about that. I haven't calculated the exact range limit, but yes. Well, we could go into like a trivial and line a whole pile of us up. At Master Easy, the update was earlier this week, but they probably had the files in. It wasn't for weeks, Tech Jones. So the actual war bond dropped today. Glades, so sorry, did not understand a word that you said. Please repeat. Yeah, uh, I said we could go to a trivial or any mission really and line each other up and then take a few pot shots and see how far the range is. We could. But no, we shall contribute to the order that, while that doing the testing. That sounds like a lot of effort. <laughs> it is, and it's way more effort than I want to bother putting in. So Yeah, but we get to shoot each other. Yeah, no. And you're saying we can't do that already? Listen, listen, we're super Earth Elite. You think we go around shooting each other and wasting resources? Hell no! At least we're not still gonna... Well, true. We're still gonna contribute to the Major Order. At least as best we can. Okay. Last one is ICBM. No problem, Master Risi. They should implement a shooting range. That would be a lot better. Sorry, Nightshade, what'd you say? Okay. There is a lot of bullet drop on the crossbow, though. I've noticed. Okay. Take your time. I don't have Ooh. enough medals for it yet. Circuit expansion. Yep, that's what we'll need next before I can. Yeah, the Oxbow one, right? Yeah. Sounds really good. Ooh, I do want to test it out. If I'd have known that one, I would have got that one first. Dang it. I got the one for the extra bomb from the Eagle. Yeah, I thought it gave me one more use, but it doesn't, sadly. So that irritates me, but it is what it is. I am going to try, however, a different loadout now. Let's see yeah. Shield with the Arc Thrower now. Uh, how to get the new war bond if you're on Steam? If you've got enough super credits, it, you can just literally buy it. Like I showed, I literally did. You watch my video? I just showed that I just clicked the purchase button and I bought it. So all you gotta do, if it's if it's locked, verify your game files or something because it's not locked. It's open. Every as long as you've got a thousand super credits, you can just buy it. It's literally in my video. I don't know yet, Tony Bui. We'll have to see once I can get it. I don't have enough rare samples yet, but once I get enough rare samples, we'll get it. I'm also on Steam, and 100% I have it. I'm not on PS5, Ted, so if I have it in my video... And expectations not fulfilled for that AR, I understand that, Dennis. No problem. Like I said, in my video, I bought it live. So if you actually watch my video, you can actually see me press the button and buy it. What's the new module? Assassin, watch the video. I covered everything in there already. So this is why you guys got to have notifications on. All right, y'all need y'all need the info. It's always there. The of all humanity. So it's the latest video on my channel. Please make sure. Ooh, damn, killed myself. Oh wait, I didn't kill myself. Ah! Literally fired one shot and thought I offed myself. Lovely. <laughs> Wait, did Arcane DC? Uh, I crashed completely. Okay. I've got the launch code. Um, <laughs> yes, I know. Is anyone else seeing this? There's like literally a half pool of water that you can drown in. You, you, could, you could drown okay. in this water. Look, I, <laughs> I, I, I can drown in this half pool of water that's magically staying here. <laughs> okay, you you will enter drowning mode if you get in this water. Like I, I'm gonna, I'm about to drown on, I'm gonna drown on like dry land. Yo, yo, that's really weird. <laughs> Lol. 
They introduce something weird every single patch, I freaking tell ya. I freaking tell ya. Shot myself with the crossbow, damn it. Yep. Calling down a support weapon. Well, anyway, Assassin, just go watch the latest video. It covers everything you need. That way you don't have to ask the question. Because it's already in there. You want to know what new ship model is there? Every single one is covered. There is only one bit of incorrect information. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I didn't realize the Arthrol can push the striders back. It can. It's got stagger now. So. Yeah, I, I knew that they, they, they added stagger to it, but I didn't realize that much stagger. Oh, I didn't know you were dead either. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Say something, man. No, nah, man. You look busy. I am busy. That's why I say something. Or else you're literally never going to get rezzed. Because I won't pay attention. I'm just having fun with the Eruptor destroying fabricators. This thing is it's fun. satisfying, isn't it? Is. <laughs> That's it is like satisfying. the best thing about it. Yep. Glade said something, but bro, I, I swear I have no idea what you're saying half the time because it's so muffled. What'd you say, buddy? It is a lot of fun. Okay. Thank you for that. I'll have to change my mic to a different one. I know, because you're literally my mumble rapper right now. Literally cannot understand you half the time. Where do we unite now? We're on Vernon Wells. I keep forgetting the planet name, but yes, we're on Vernon Wells. Vernon Wells is currently where most of our forces are. Um, so yeah, we're doing that. Hey, I finally found that uh, rare sample place. After this, we'll go to sevens for the super samples, but yes, rare samples. Rare One, samples but it's fine. It's worth it. Hmm. I see a stratagem jammer. I think the nicest part about this is that it literally invalidates the quasar. At least for taking out fabricators at a long range. Oh wait, but no, it's got a range limit of 100 meters. Damn. Ah, that's true. I can't wait to get circuit expansion. I think it'd be a big help for arc weapons. We can also open crates with this, which is nice. Rare sample, requisition slip, I'll take that. Shank you, shank you, shank you. Some more common samples right here. Shank you. And shank you too. I think the gunships with the Eruptor would be possible. It's probably going to be two shots, same as the autocannon. It, it feels like a slightly lower powered autocannon, so it might be about three, maybe four shots on the same area. But because of the slow speed of this, it might not be viable for that. Like, I'm just going to be real honest. I think this will, get, like, if, it, if you're in a pinch with the gunship, sure. New bag. But I think that if you're genuinely looking for a gunship counter, this might mm, not be what you're looking for. Does do well against scout striders, though. Found something. Uh, Master Reese, you're not supposed to lean either way. Pro players, they follow orders, that's all. So if Super Earth says this is the major order, you do the major order. You should never lean toward one faction or another. Pros don't care what the enemy is, just kill them. It's not like they're hard anyway. Oh, but this thing... Yeah, no. Arcane, you were right. It's about... The radius is about 10 meters. I did just I did just fry a group of bots roughly about 10 meters apart. And uh, it actually worked really well. Shot the Eruptor right into the middle of them. Hmm. Also remember, with the Arc Thor, if you aim at the head in first person, it will actually hit the head. So you can utilize that for faster kill times. I hate the projectile travel of this a little bit. I know I shouldn't, but... I think, uh, you're, really, I think you're really gonna hate the crossbow. Oh man. I'm already unlooking forward to it. 
like undecember level of unlooking forward to it. That is a that is an eruptor from somebody. Yeah, it was me behind you. Oh, here. hey, what's up? I was like, who's shooting? It's so good on the fabricators, though. Damn, I am still not over this weapon. It is great. There's no fab attached to this. Darn. The third person reticle? No, they didn't. You can you can absolutely use the arc thrower in third person there. See. I just don't use it because first person is more accurate. I got the terminal. Was there an update? No, the update was a few days ago, dude. It's just that the Warbond is releasing today. Yeah, the Eruptor is, uh, you know, yeah, sure, you're sacrificing fire rate, but if your role, if your role is tanking for your team with the Arc Thor, you're most likely up close and personal, right? So you're gonna need something to help your team at long range. The Eruptor kinda does it. Not gonna lie. The Eruptor kinda does it. Then after that, you know, once you're done assisting your team at long range, you can uh, shift to close range combat. With the Eruptor. You'll be my disappointment when you switch to the crossbow then. Because <laughs> I am. I wish I brought the <laughs> Eruptor. Oh man, really? Is that yeah. bad? I thought it was gonna be it's, like a bolt gun, man. Like, bullet, the bullet drop is really bad. Uh -huh. You can't one shot a devastator unless you shot him in the face, like directly in the oh, face. Oh man, you can't even one shot yeah. a devastator, damn. Yeah, so, I guess yeah. I guess the eruptor is the big winner. The there. only upside is it's not bolt action, so it sort of has a faster rate of fire. Oh, I triggered a hell bomb and forgot about it. Someone wants to like me here. I know it's a little far. But I got a bunker. Okay, coming. Glad you gonna be okay? Yes, sir. Okay, then I'll hit the arcane. Actually, wait. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Me and Nightshade are equidistant. I'll go. I'll go. Nightshade can keep looting. Oh, I lost my shield. All right, got to mute Glade. Sorry. That's okay. In game. Nightshade <laughs> will go to Glade and assist him on the north. I'll assist you in the south. Running! Crossbow can blow fabricators by hitting in the right spaces. I don't know. Nightshade, what's your... He's I, the, I haven't tried it yet. He hasn't tried it yet. He's the only I, one I with the crossbow. I haven't, I haven't come across any fabricators. <laughs> You've been taking them all out. I'm just too good, bro. I'm sorry. It's so easy with this thing. I know. The Eruptor just... Hmm, I see a hole. Boom. I guess that's why they call it the Eruptor. Ah! Ah! Chat! Ah! Ah! You love me. And if you don't you love do me, you have to be more yeah. front facing. Yes. Like the fabricators. Yeah. You can't be like at an angle. You also can't do some of the like the ricochet shots that I'm so used to with the autocannon. It literally has to be like the quasar dead on, you know? But I still don't yeah. mind that, you know? It's it's still right. pretty okay. You can avoid a lot of faces now without having to go up all the way up in them. I've got this one. To get to the fabricators. Well, I mean, it can't be old footage since it only just came out today, right? Ah, medals, yes! Yeah, the crossbow is coming soon. Beautiful. Okay. Yep, indeed. New mag. But I mean, where did they hit it with the with the crossbow? You, you got to give me specifics here. You got to give me specifics, then I'll tell Nightshade. Oi, can you test this? And he'll say, "Alrighty, I'll probably test it." Dropping a pin. Northwest. All right, I'm gonna move across with Arcane. We're gonna get to objective, and he will give his life for me so that Requesting the samples can be protected. Strike. No! How dare you let Nightshade die, Glade? Pick up his samples. Tea bag. Oh, yeah. so the Hulk there. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, Glade. Let the intrusive thoughts win. Tea bag him. <laughs> Probably oh. would. <laughs> Um, which of the new modules? I got the Hangar Space XXL, but I uh, made a boo-boo. I thought in my video, because I was so excited that I thought it was one extra use of the Eagle, it's not. 
you still have the same number of uses of your eagle, but it's just that it will drop one more bomb. I found that it does improve the overall uh, damage of the eagle because like sometimes the eagle will have a missing space in the center. This one extra bomb fills that space, so it makes the eagle a lot more consistent. But uh, damage-wise, it's not like it's a big, huge upgrade or anything. It's still roughly the same. That was outstanding, S.A. I'm sorry, please, uh... Please give me... What was the acronym stand for? Can the Eruptor replace the AMR? No. Rather, the, up, the Eruptor is there to supplement the AMR because it can take out Fabricators, which the AMR couldn't. People were banking on the Grenade Pistol for that, but you don't really have to. Requesting air support. I'm just happy that the, that the bomb, the extra uh, bomb, Kyle, it fills this weird empty space that you always encounter when you're running, when you're running this stuff. So for me, that's a big win. Mostly because of, of that one thing. If not for that, you know. I'm gonna laser that base to the left of us, Arcane. You got a laser for it? Okay, that's not working. I'm just yeah. cheating out. Crossbow can't hit Hulk in the face. Oh, it can't? Nope, the cannon. You're on me right behind you. Yep, I see you. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna try to take the fabricator out with the crossbow now. Try to shoot it in the vent. Okay. I'm just gonna erupt all over these bots. <clears throat> I said what I, I said. Bet you would. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Listen, I am. I don't know what you guys believe. Okay. But I said what I said. Oh crap. Not crap. Haha. -ha. Oh man. Blade. Did you steal his fabricated kill? Yes, he did. Yeah, there's another one over here. Sorry. That's alright, okay. there's another one over here. Let, let him take here. the fabricator oh. so that he can uh, experiment. No, there's no two 500 kilogram bombs, no. Um, it doesn't affect, the upgrade does not affect 500 kilogram bombs. The new modules are definitely sick. I like them a lot, Assassin. Can't keep us down, we count down. On to war. Okay, let's let's murder them in cold blood. I'll tell you, the biggest danger with the eruptor though is that you just feel like using it all the time. Like for me at least, because I like snipers. I I forget that I have a support weapon and that I should change my weapon. I just see the eruptor and I'm like, hmm, time to erupt. You know? I'm sure no, you guys No, the cannot take out the fabricator. Oh, well, that's a shame. Where'd you, where did you hit it? I'm shooting it in the vent and I get the armor uh, deflection. Okay. No, that's a shame. And because the crossbow explodes on impact, unlike uh, it doesn't ricochet in either. Ah, okay. What a shame. Uh, you got aim lower. Yep, there's definitely a range limit, which you guys saw there. I, like, I thought I could snipe this thing. So unlike the jar and whatnot... I can shoot, shoot through the door, though. Ah, you can shoot through the door. So through the open door, you can blow it up. But you can't shoot through the vent. Unless maybe you're shooting down into it, but oh, yeah, not yeah, from... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it does make sense to me. Hang on, I'm about to erupt. I'm about to erupt. Oh god, this thing is gonna be so many. This thing is gonna make so many dirt jokes now. But it's so good. Yeah. I know, right? I don't know. I love this weapon. I love the eruptor. I mean, I know, the outside right? is bolt action, but other than that, mm, it ticks all the right boxes. Yep. Yeah, like it literally feels like a support weapon has replaced a primary. 
I'm gonna go open up the uh, things. I mean, it does free up a lot of interesting interesting play from the Arctor and all that, so I really like that. Can you feel the difference in the Arctor? I haven't gotten the new module upgrade. Once I get it, then I'll, I'll feed back to you guys. I've got this one. How's the Eruptor versus the Hulk? I, it, it, it cannot kill a Hulk. Perfect death. So you still need to rely on your support weapon for that. Your actual support weapon. But the cool thing is that with dropships, see, with my Eruptor, I can... Oh, damn it. I couldn't get it just underneath. But if you can get the Eruptor to hit underneath the dropship, because I thought it was coming here, um, you should actually be able to kill some of the things before they come down. Pretty much think of it as a mini auto cannon. It's like having an auto cannon, but bolt Mixed action. With a yeah, exactly. Arcane's right. Mixed with a grenade launcher. But it has a 100 meter, 80 to 100 meter limited range. So if I would fire here, right, um, it'll take out these guys. But if I fire too far, it won't. It'll actually explode in the distance, so like 100 meters. Yeah, it'll explode after a while. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, sorry. Let me show you guys. Oh, it's, it looks better if I just shoot in the sky. So it'll eventually explode after some time. It's just that the distance is 80 to 100 meters. It, it looks like about 100 meters, roughly. The adjudicator is... Yeah! Uh, the, on a scale of 1 to I never want to see this weapon ever again, if I catch any of y'all bring an adjudicator into my match, you know what'll happen? You see this fist? Okay, you see this fist? It ain't even a slap program anymore. No, it's a fist program, alright? <laughs> I'm on the terminal. I will give y'all... I mean, you can go. You can give it a go. Yeah, give it a go and try it for yourself. I mean, you <laughs> might like it. I mean, this is the man who said, hmm, diligence counter sniper. <laughs> I mean... If you use it in place of the Liberator Penetrator, it might have a place because it does more damage. But other than that, I didn't see I didn't see any other use for it. Fair. Cyber stand can't keep us down. Oh yeah, well, the other cool thing. Oh damn. <laughs> did you have to murder me did there? I kill no you? Shade? Yeah, of course you did. I was shooting the crossbow on the floor. Yeah. Not to hit you. No, I got murdered. What's the blast radius on that? Uh, it's definitely smaller than the um, oh, eruptor. Ejaculator, whatever. <laughs> it's, uh, bro, bro, bro. At least say <laughs> eruptor, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, yeah. Shoot it on the, shoot it on the ground. Let me see. Uh, shoot it on me. Next to me. And we'll see. Yeah. Definitely much smaller. Small. I wouldn't say much smaller. A little bit smaller, but not much smaller. No. Uh, I would say it's kind of similar, but the crossbow definitely smaller. Smaller, but not much smaller. You know, you won't get the you won't get that <laughs> eruptor feel, but yeah. I feel like fragments hitting. It's like the baby brother of the eruptor feel. That's true. But we'll pass the fire rate. Right? Whee! Oh no! Too late. That's okay. Hey, that's Running. a perfect time to. Wait, wait, we can erupt on this uh, bot drop. <laughs> I said what I said, okay? Straight, yeah, no, look, 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 look. There, right there, guys, right there. So before they come down, right? Although you can't kill a bot ship with this, who the hell killed the bot ship? My Quasar. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. I got scared for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, the, the Eruptor take down the, the dropships as well. I was like, nah, man. If the Eruptor can take down the dropship, GG, you don't need a support weapon. I was just like, hmm. Let's stop. Uh, it's time to stop playing the game. It's over. I'm done. I'm finished. Get out of my way, Hulk. But yeah, you can shoot the underside of the dropship. No, I'm stuck. No. Erupt. I mean, the eruptor is technically lever action. I mean, it's bolt action, lever action, same kind of dealio. I know not for the gun nuts, but you know, it's similar functionality. Oh, what's Someone up, Arcane? Come punch me. I'll think about it. Fine, fine. Get whipped. Get whipped. Oh. Okay. Well, that means you <laughs> so got a little. Lol. Sorry. Sorry. 
I was just trying to pistol whip you out there. I didn't know you'd, you'd die instantly. <laughs> I am doing democracy. Uh, sorry, Kuramor, does what work? Yeah, the Eruptor Arctor is definitely working well. And we'll probably see a lot more loadouts that use stun grenades because the stun grenades just make sense. But remember that the Eruptor still cannot kill a Hulk. So you're still going to need something to kill the Hulk. And realistically speaking, if you've got the Arc Throw, which stuns the Hulk already since it's got massive stagger, you don't actually need stun grenades. You can, in fact, bring Thermite if you really want to. Although I have no idea how it would help you or even if it would help you at all anyway. Uh, maybe impact grenades? So, yeah, it could bring back an old Arc Throw loadout, which would be very interesting. A lot of, a lot of synergies here. Can you try throwing the Thermite on the back? Calling an extraction. Yes, I have. And still doesn't it's one shot. Much the same effect. Uh, that's but does it? So it doesn't blow up the I mean, thing does... at all. No. Well, no. You just got yourself a super chat. I, I thanks, need to Team Racing. Thanks. Here's a salute it's for your super chat. Um, sorry about interrupting you, but anyway, uh, what are the opinions on the new weapons? So far, I've only tested the Adjudicator and the Eruptor. The Eruptor is godlike. It is literally everything you ever wanted in a weapon. It, um, it will even probably cure long-term illnesses and whatnot. Um, basically, Jesus blessed this weapon. Okay, in fact, not just Jesus, Super Jesus blessed this weapon. And it's really good. But the Adjudicator is so terrible that I never want to see it ever again. In fact, if I catch anybody using it, I will probably adjust their attitude to life. And in fact, I will probably speak to St. Peter himself and say, Glade. this guy's not getting into heaven. Glade. Glade. <laughs> you okay there, Glade? Yeah, I'm, uh, just, you know, Vibing. taking some shots. Walking in front of me. Okay, listen, guys, I got the front. You can feel free to erupt all over these bots. I got them. Dudes, my YouTube app just keeps crashing, so I'm sorry. I'm coming back to chat now. I don't know what's wrong with it. Yeah. Too much eruptions, man. How's the new booster? I haven't checked it out yet. As soon as I can, I'm going to focus on the weapons first, and after that, I'll check out the new um, booster. No, no, no. See, this is Super Earth Damon, so we have Super Jesus. There's no Baby Jesus anymore. Thermite can blow bug nests? Yes, but so can the incendiary. A lot of things can blow bug nests. I mean, the eruptor can destroy bug nest, FYI. But we're not testing against bugs right now, testing against automatons. Uh, we will test against bugs at some point, but not right now. The Adjudicator is... Who died? Someone blew me up. It was Glade. I seen it. I seen it. It was not! I used pistol. I seen it. It was Glade. It was Glade. Now, in all fairness, it might have been me. Are you fighting that Berserker in melee combat? <laughs> Did you just lose that Berserker in melee combat? Uh, I we thought my team was back. Yeah, but apparently you're all just watching. Yeah, no, it, dude, <laughs> it was the greatest boxing match in history, man. You know? Glade Tyson versus Berserker. <laughs> okay, hey, 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 guys, can we get out of here? Nightshade, seriously? Uh, now is not the time, bro. Get us samples. <laughs> Make sure you get the samples. Yeah, yeah, I'm throwing stuns down there. I have samples. Oh my okay. gosh. Oh my damn. Now, would you guys please get on the damn ship. Nightshade, get on the ship. Arcane, get on the ship. I will wait until Glade does here. And then Glade will get on the ship. All right. Come on, Clankers. Let's go. <laughs> Thermite cannot destroy fabricators. No wait, can't it? I thought it goes in the vent. Uh, it sticks, so it might stick. not actually. Oh, yeah, that's right. But if you throw it in the hole, will the explosions that come after, will it detonate? Don't know. Maybe you should try it. Oh, yeah. no, I should try yeah, it. Yeah, you should try it. That's it, I'm going back to the Eruptor. Okay. Uh, grenade pistol does mean you can just run stuns, yep. But at the same time, against bots, I would still probably prefer my Big Iron, my Senator. Um, that being said, we will definitely be testing uh, the Grenade Pistol as soon as I can get my hands on it. So we've done a basic test. We kind of understand most of the weapons, except for the crossbow. Uh, I'll give it a little bit of a 
uh, a nudge later. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upgrade to the higher difficulty levels and give them more of a try. But the Eruptor is, it requires precision. If your accuracy is good, the Eruptor is going to be good. If your accuracy is not good, the Eruptor is going to be... Uh, mm, uh, mm, <clears throat> nah. You're not gonna, let's, let's just say you're not going to erupt very much. <laughs> well done. Listen, guys, the game named this thing the Erupt. Did you really expect us not to make jokes about this on a freaking stream? Hell no! All right, I'm going to joke about this every day until everyone, you know, dies of boredom. Okay, let's go. Are you guys ready to erupt? Hell yeah, Sergeant! There you go. See? <laughs> Ready That's for what she said. Yep. Damn right. War. Okay. Your heroic now then, ladies and gents, we're gonna go erupt all over Vernon Wells. Uh, let me let me choose a mission that's not horrifying. How about Helm's Deep? Engaging orbital thrusters. You thought that was a new rocket stratagem? Uh, no. Not yet. The new warbond got you erupted, Lupo. <laughs> <laughs> and even stop it. Nope. We're we're gonna do it ten times more now. Suffer. <laughs> Track hoodie. What's good, everybody? Yeah, I know, yo. I know the devs knew what this was. Can an energy weapon take down a dropship? No. Uh, the quasar can, but it's because it's a cannon. The energy weapons, I'm assuming primary weapons, cannot. So just be aware of that. Okay. Have anybody used the expert extraction pilot yet? Not yet. You want to try it? Oh, wait. Sure. I don't know if it'll work on this mission. There's no call in. So I did, I did test it, and I found that it removed 18 seconds off a two-minute timer. It removed 18 seconds off a two minute timer. Sounds like it's not worth it. Mm. Okay. It took off like 30 seconds or something. Yeah. All right, maybe. All I hear is my rage increasing by the second. Damn. Okay, um, we're gonna do this the Helm's Deep way. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that the one we're doing? Yep, it's Helm's Deep. Okay. Teddy! Wow, you're back! What the hell happened to you? Dude, That what, you disappeared one day, and we never saw you again until today, and I finally see Teddy in my chat. Yo! How you doing, buddy? Does localization confusion booster work, with the new work in the new defense mission? It actually doesn't. I just have it all the time because I'm used to it. I don't think it actually does. <laughs> actually, let's try it. Let's try it right now. Let me take this off. And I'll put in something like... More stamina. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see if more bot chips are coming. Because I heard on four spawns, um, it doesn't work. So well, I mean, probably. Let's, let's find out. But, yeah. but I don't actually know if anyone's confirmed it. Oh yeah, Silver Gang, Silver Gang, Silver Gang, Silver Gang. Yuri is excited for the new servo armor. What's the best primary weapon with exploding ammo? Um, Scorcher. Eruptor. Well, technically, actually, no, sorry, you're right. Eruptor. The new Eruptor is the best primary weapon with exploding ammo. You can quite literally erupt all over your opponents. Doesn't that make you happy? Don't land on the generators. Okay, nobody landed on the generators, right? Sweet. Oh, this is the good one. Okay, Glade, you know where to post up, right? Oh. Yes, sir. All right. We'll see you in. Bye. Have a great day. By the way, please unseal yourself if you guys need to come out. I just did that for fun, but you know. Sometimes it can be fun because we must erupt. Calling down a sentry. Requesting sentry. I know, right, Track Hoodie? I, I tried out the <laughs> the adjudicator and I was like, hmm, yes, the only thing this is going to adjudicate is some kind of, you know, like small time 
civil civil court lawsuit where you know they're trying to find out who's the father or some shit because this shit that thing is so bad it is just so bad like on a scale of one two i will never use this gun uh i will never use this gun i'd rather use the liberator pen <laughs> i saw that arcane i'd rather use the liberator penetrator than this gun are you erupting on yourself <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to comment. I was like, nope, shut your mouth. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, Teddy, wait, wait. You got to answer my question. What happened to you, Teddy? What happened to you? Where where, where did you vanish that day? Did your net die or something? I want to know. I want to know what happened to the Tedster. We were like, shit, what happened to Ted? You know, sus. It was sus when Ted vanished. Are you arc throwing? Damn. I know, right? But hey, I respect that, Rena. It just means you're cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, I just fell to the floor. You're, what? Are you dead? Or alive? No, I'm just. I oh, there's a soft spot here on this ramp. Cool. Lol. I'm so big. Congratulations on your size. That's what she said. I mean, you're. It is what it is. You know, we had the, we had the penetrator, and now we got the eruptor. It is what it is. He is what it's designed to do. Oh, that laser. Fall back to the keep! Carving down a support weapon. Oh, that's wait, did someone shoot the tank? Uh nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the one over here though. I thought it was the laser that got it. Dang it. Alright, next tank that drops in, I I wanna try the uh um this grenade on it. Oh, okay. Thermite. Okay, sure. I can't kill the tank uh, dropships anyway, so, you know, feel free. Alright, they're coming in. I think they're coming in at the same rate, so. Oh, there's a tank. Don't, don't shoot it. Dropships. I'm go shooting fast. the normal dropships only, don't worry. Because the tank ones go high before dropping in. Damn it. The, the what you call it's gonna. The it. tank is here. I think that thermite ain't doing shit, as far as I can tell. And you got it right on the back, too. Oh, wait, no, no, maybe it did. It oh, detonates. So when you throw it, it does, like, like a time delay de detonation. Uh-huh. Yeah, the mortar killed you. And then it does one final, like, larger explosion at the end of its life. Yep. Does seem to work nice. When do I think the new major order is gonna drop? When this one ends, dude, which is tomorrow. Until then, why are you thinking about the next one? Think about winning this one, huh? Did I raise you to be so weak? Requesting I'm sure I didn't. Weaponry. I'm sure I raised you better than that, boy. Hey, the thermite Ooh. killed it. Oh, the mortar's it. One of the things. It, well, the mortar helped it, for sure. Yep. We'll have to test it under more uh, open world circumstances. Helm's Deep, probably not the best place to test. Yeah. Oh, uh, Martin, it's better to go for the dropships that carry troops. You can't get rid of the tank ones, but you can get rid of the tank ones another way. Glade 2 heading for you. I'll wait for the ones heading for me. The troop carrier ones, you want to you wanna just delete them. The tank ones you cannot delete, so they're they're a lot harder to get rid of. 
but you will get quite some kills, and the rest can be finished off by the Mortaros, which uh, basically helps keep most enemies out of your base. And any enemies that make it through the door, you just erupt all over them. Exactly, my dude. When they start coming, we start erupting. New weapons are alright. Matetius Prime, it's uh, they're, they're pretty alright. Uh, okay, actually, I can't lie to you with a straight face. The Eruptor is the only thing that's been worth it so far. The crossbow I haven't personally tested, but from the testing that we've that my pals have done, it's not really as impressive as the Eruptor. Like, just honest feedback right now, so... The thing about the Eruptor is that it is ultimately an explosive weapon. So you fire it, it explodes quite literally, you know, as I said, you know, jokes aside, it does erupt on your opponent. So it's pretty good and it's very, very decent for penetrating through enemy armor. But it's like having a mini auto cannon mixed with a grenade launcher. Uh, doesn't do either job as well as it should, but it can take out most things. And the fact that it's on a primary slot means that you can free up your secondary for other alternative tactics, which is really nice. There's one. Oh, they dropped the tank on top of that mountain. That'll happen, that'll happen. Um, I cannot stop it just yet. But I'm sure the Mortars will. Yep, there we go. Mortar stopped it. They'll drop all sorts of things on that mount, so... The Eruptor penetrates. Yes, the Eruptor penetrates armor. Molly, Jesus Christ! Come on! <laughs> the Helldivers to the point. <laughs> oh, Lord. It is what it is, okay? Listen. they The devs knew what they were doing when they named this shit. Crossbow ain't worth this. it. It's, it's uh, mid as hell. Uh, Nightshade pretty much said the same thing, so yeah, I, I would agree with that assessment. It doesn't seem like a very fantastic weapon, but hey, it is what it is, you know? Sometimes you just gotta accept that some weapons are mid, you know, some weapons are jungle lane. It's kinda like that. And a couple of weapons are ad carries, a couple of weapons are top lane. It, it's just how it, it's just how it is, you know? Not every weapon will be perfect but yeah I definitely still want to even though the crossbow is mid as hell I do want to try it out so I can know how bad it is then I can curse it out live on stream and regret ever buying it and regret spending any of my hard-earned medals on it in fact I already regret even before buying it Oh, come on. How did I miss that shot? Sorry. Shorty fam. I'm out. I'm out of airstrike. That's okay. I'm out of every goddamn thing. Oh, yeah. If you could use the crossbow with a, with a shield like one-handed... You know, that'd be pretty cool. Pretty sure it's a two-handed weapon. Yeah, unfortunately. But that would make sense. This rock is so good, it's protected me from tanks. But you can send the Eruptor underneath the dropship, alright? Um, and it will explode, and therefore get you kills. Like, like so. Okay. No, oh, come on. What got you? Said I killed myself, but I didn't even shoot. I think it was the morning. Probably. Are you sure you didn't erupt on yourself again? No. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be the next few days, Arcane. 
It's all right. I'm aware. I'm sure you've accepted your fate. Lee Cruz, no, the Eruptor is really good. I'm really enjoying the Eruptor. I like erupting over my opponents, but the rest of the weapons are not so great, yeah. It's kind of true, Frank. The crossbows and bows in most shooters tend to either be OP or trash, and I actually wish that we could get a bow weapon so I can roleplay as Hanzo. With every death comes honor. With honor, redemption. You are not the brother I once knew. <laughs> I need that in my life. So I need a bow. I see but, it. Yeah. I didn't think it ricocheted, but it does. What ricochets? Sorry? The Eruptor. Hmm. Look, if you shoot that platform right there. Oh, it does. It oh, does. Yeah. Hey, you're skipping Eruptor bolts now. That has to be a very shallow angle. Well, it's nice to know you can uh, angle your eruption. Ooh, got shot by a tank for that. Ow. Uh, Yuri, you ricocheted a recoilless rifle? Damn, bro. That's swanky. That's some mad skills. Well, Yuri does have the skills. Hey, True Saiyan, how's it going? Oh. We have a tank back here. Yeah, oh. I'm having a little bit of trouble right now. Oh, oh, oh. On my way, on my yeah, way. Holy gotta... crap. It landed up here. It was okay. Not <laughs> I love how it landed there damaging. and Glade didn't say anything. I <laughs> know, oh, we almost lost one of our... Yeah, it's okay. I mean, even if we did lose one, it should be fine. As long as you don't lose one at the start, it should be okay. But damn, homie, say something, bro. Holy. We would come back and right. help you. <laughs> That's That's solid. Solid. That's a That's a solo it. That's a, that was the thing. And uh, Glade, Glade uh, reads like solo leveling religiously, you know? <laughs> Hear that or you read some other Korean manhwa and was like, hmm, my name is Su Hyun Woo from now on. Then tomorrow on one of the manga sites, I'll see like uh, some, some new edition. Uh, how I became how I became a solo hell diver, or I joined a solo hell diver world and became a boss or some shit like that. <laughs> uh, I actually, I actually really like those uh, mangas. Those are those are well, manhwas. Those are so fun. Like they get up to all sorts of crazy shit. The Korean ones are pretty damn awesome. Actually, wait a second. Why am I even firing my normal gun at these guys? No, no, no. I'm firing the eruptor. Time for me to erupt, baby. Regressor Manhua is peak, dude. That is that Manhua is not just peak. It's so meta. <laughs> I saw you throw mine. <laughs> Uh, I guess you could say arcane. <laughs> that was a no. thermal eruption sure. right there. No. <laughs> yes. Hey, robot. Yeah, Glade. What's up? Bye. Oh, bro, bro. They did this before. It was on the termicide mission. You remember? Bro. Hey, we're underground. Hey, guys. Come and join us in the hidden land. Guys, we're going to Candy Mountain. I want to see y'all coming, Candy Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. So, 
One of Nightshade's mortars actually pushed me like even farther through there. Wow. I lost my quasar under there. Right solo leveling held ammunition. Get in the dang ship. <laughs> SSS class suicide hunter. The name is so cringe, but I have heard of it, Kevin. I do kind of want to check that out, you know? Um, thermite grenade. So far, my friends have not been impressed with the thermite grenade. I haven't tried it out myself because I don't own it yet. So, yeah. Oh, but actually, I think I do. Maybe I'll try it. I'll think about it. Magical Leo Pluridon. <laughs> It's the Leo Pluridon, Charlie! Oh god, I still remember that. Ancient memes indeed, Molly. Ancient memes. Ancient times. Old times. Will continue to operate at sub optimal effectiveness. Homie, what samples did you want us to collect? There were none there. It was Helm's Deep, man. <laughs> okay, give me one second. I'm just checking something. Unless we're gonna die here. 20 more medals, and I can get the grenade pistol. Okay, let me see. Where am I? Okay, the I need eight more for the Zenade pistol. Glad to have uh, but maybe I'll go for the crossbow first. Eldiver. The okay. super destroyer is ready for your next mission. Right. mission. Emergency oh. evacuation. Hellpods prime. Engaging or the cr you stuck the thermite grenade on a charger. You don't think it strips off the armor? Uh, before we go for the next mission, let me get some water. It, it does make sense that it doesn't. A, a lot of my Sink pals here haven't had any luck stripping off any armor. BRB, one second. Where am I from? Uh, Arcane, tell him where I'm from. <laughs> He's from hell. Currently living in Australia. Australia, mate. Australia. I can't do the accent, I'm sorry. I love how my bud here, he's a streamer, he plays uh, survival games, that's Arcane by the way, so if you ever want to check out survival games, you can check out Arcane's channel. I love how I put him on the spot and said, you know, take over the stream for a second, and like, this guy, this guy chokes a little bit, <laughs> like, bro, come on. You are literally well, a streamer. Well, caught me off guard. Hello. <laughs> um, okay, let me drop here. And what about ship modules? Uh, check out my video. My video literally covers everything you need. Uh, okay, can we get the extraction pilot dealio? Um, stamina for me. Hellpot space optimization. And so you want to try the ex ex the extraction? Yeah, and I'm also gonna go without any localization here. So I I just want to see the um, the overall. Does anyone else have an unlock besides me? Uh, others, I think Arcane does, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Just you go, yeah. you go with it. Yep. Um, okay. It? It's the Leo Pluridon, Arcane. It's the Leo Pluridon. Shun the non-believer. Shun him. Shun. <laughs> uh, old times. Okay. Um, do I have the thermite? Let me try how crap this is. Okay. I I think it's I think it's very useful. Well, it has its use. Let's put it that way. Like yes. No offense, but Especially you use like weird shit, bro. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very valid though. <laughs> this is true. You know what? Shun the non-believer. Okay. Shun him. 
I upgraded the hangar baby because I thought it would give me one more use. I didn't know it was just one more bomb, so I upgraded that first. But we'll see. You know, I'll upgrade something else later. The airstrike or like the same map pump, it will create a bigger area or something. So less like the miss your target. True. Um, as for the crossbow, it's not able to destroy uh, fabricators. We did test it out. The eruptor can. You can erupt on the, the fabricators, but not the crossbow. Uh, so, Asterix, you can destroy the fabricators through the door. Through the door. Yes. The eruptor, I do like it better than my jar 5, but it does come with a set of weaknesses, so you just have to be aware of like what the strengths and weaknesses of each weapon are. So, for example, what can the eruptor do? The Eruptor is an extremely dangerous explosive weapon. So it does work, but you have to understand it's number one bolt action. Number two, it's projectile base. So you miss your target, you're kind of screwed. No, you don't, don't go destroy the tank. Are you still testing stuff against the tank? Well, there was nothing. We didn't have any mortars. I actually wanted to test it this time. Too late, I'm testing it. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh well, whatever. Yes, I didn't want to test it anyway. Come on, wanna throw me back in? Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, I'll throw you back in. Just <laughs> give me a second. I'm reloading my gun, you know? I was too busy erupting all over these bats. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the AoE on this is nice, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. This localiz without localization confusion, what the hell? Are, are these guys okay? Um, hmm. I forgot this wasn't a stun. Oh, but hey. Tank, no, no, nobody Thank shoot you. the tank. Nobody, nobody shoot it. Okay, 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 okay. You, you go ahead, you go ahead. All right, I ain't shooting no tank. Oh, dude, you hit me with the thermite. <laughs> I hit you with the thermite? No, I hit the Hulk. Yeah, man. It was burning me. Bro, I don't know how it hit you because... Is Arcane dead? Yes. Damn. Watch your left, there's a tank. How'd I'm you gonna die? Test thermite for me. Uh, sure. Yeet and delete. Oh! I am burning the tanks. I am underneath the. I am somehow a tank dropped on me and I'm inside the tank. Help! Help, guys! Can you bomb this tank? I'm inside him. I am inside this empty model. Got you. This may hurt. No. Yeah. Yes, finally. That was beautiful. Now, why are there still more bot drops? Because of the eye. Oh, there's an eye. Freaking hell. That's what I was trying to get to, and then the tank dropped, and I was like, shoot, tank first. And then. Die. Okay, guys, guys, guys. If there's an eye, we gotta go there. Yo. Where I'm going. Yeah, it's been looking at us. No wonder. Um, go, 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 go. Don't waste time on this fight. I thought it was because I didn't bring my localization confusion, but they aren't sending up more. So I was thinking, how come there's more? If you guys see, if there's an eye straight away, yeah, we gotta go there. No, no fighting. Immediately go, go, go. Don't forget, we're on difficulty seven now. This ain't a weapons test anymore. This is a real field exercise. Yeah, shit. There's more. There's more. Don't, don't, don't stop and fire. Don't stop and fire. Run till you get there. It's Tim. Go, 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 go. Pulling in reinforcement. Reinforcing. Just myself. Are you sure the thing was looking at us from back there? There's no way. It's too far. It was. It was at first. But, I don't know. It looks like it's rotating again. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the one that was looking at us. 
So how the we, we keep getting stuff summoned, so it keep, makes me think that that's only. There we go. I got a whole bunch of that. Yeah, and yourselves too, apparently. The detector tower is done, at least. Cause look, there's just more and more and more coming down. And I don't even know where my stuff went. It's crazy. Okay, now we have to go back to the objective. This is this is getting wild. Please take out targets. Oh, I've got no stims. I am bleeding out. I will die. One tank down. Why are there so many tanks on the freaking seven? <laughs> right? It's crazy out here. Start blasting, start blasting whatever you can see. Hey, there's another tank. So I was saying, what the hell was calling that in? It's like no localization confusion. I say, oh yeah, let's test it out without one thing. This is what I'm. This is what I'm trying to tell people. Like people say, "Oh, I don't need it." I'm like, "Yeah, you crazy." <laughs> oh, killed by nightshade, bro. That extra bomb, man. Mm, yeah, no, it's just really bad aim, dude. Don't be wasting reinforcements. All right. Ready to liberate. Finally found my stuff, at least. Okay, what's left? There should be a tank. Have some of these quasar. Okay, I'm gonna get the objective finally done. Come toward me when you can. Draw all enemies toward me, because I've got my arc door, I'm ready. Yeah, the localization confusion is, seems to be very necessary. At least from my experience. Package yeah, right. Dropping, package. Dropping that there. Support all your stuff weapon. is here. I got the terminal. Okay, shove it in, Nightshade. Package acquired. Dropping package. Where is there a sample I'll container on the ground? Terminal. You guys see it on the map, right? Can you go pick it up? Thank you. Alright. Pick up all the sample containers that are missing. There's something here. Music rock. Yes, give me the super samples. Yeah, I saw those earlier, okay. but uh, because of the firefight, we were running, so it's like, uh, I'll come back for it later. Yeah, that's okay. We'll make a general way south. Found something. Uh, kill along the way, the usual. Loot, get samples. <laughs> How's the new weapon so far? Okay, so my honest feedback is that the Eruptor is kind of the only weapon that's worth it right now. The other weapons don't seem to be so worth it, but it really does depend on the individual. And I think that that is an important consideration to make as well. You have to decide for yourself uh, what is best for you, but the Adjudicator, in my opinion, is not worth it. And the crossbow, we are... I haven't had a chance to test yet. Okay, two rare samples. samples. This will be really, really good. Gonna need them for my upgrades. Support weapon. The additional Eagle module, so if you didn't read the updated comments, basically I thought, because I was extremely excited in the video, I thought it adds an extra use, but something. it just adds an extra bomb during the actual drop. So be aware of that. You will have one more actual bomb when you call it in. That's what it does. Bot drop already went up from that freaking tower, okay. So like, if I throw in my eagle, right? Right now, it'll drop one extra bomb when I'm eagling. Oh look, another tank. Yep. I don't know who shot my thing, but yo, calm down, calm down.
Those thermites, I don't think it did anything to it. I'm gonna move aside. Oh, damn. That was payback, wasn't it? No, just don't go there. Where's the crate? So yeah, the eruptor... Okay. The eruptor does open crates. It does do a lot. So it's got a lot of potential and a lot of strength right now. Definitely a very enjoyable weapon. But um, the other weapons in the war bond are not as good. Okay. Alright. I'll continue heading south. Are you trying to test the thermite on a tank? Got it. No, I didn't. Oh, I thought I had it. No. Like I said, mm -hmm. I don't think the thermite will work on it, but it did damage it quite a bit. So there is yeah. that. Oh. Can't have any more than that. Fight nine. Could somebody throw an arcane, please? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't apply to those. At the very least, it's not to the 110 eagle pods. Because I don't believe that has multiple bombs, but I could be wrong. It doesn't apply to 500 kilogram, obviously. That one, if you look at the description, it, it already says that it doesn't apply to those. But I can't remember about the 110 pods, because I haven't used them. I mean... This game isn't going to be a stealth game, so yeah. Do I think the sickle is worth bringing for automatons? Do you prefer the jar five? I prefer the jar five. Wait, why are you guys dying? What happened? Oh, uh, I got snuck off. Okay. I got dropped on the other side. Requesting air support. I have to get my samples. Okay, okay. Nightshade, stick with us, please. No independent movement. We're on a proper. We're on a proper run now. Uh, I think I have your samples, Arcane. Okay. Yeah, okay, I see it. As long as we get the, the, the super samples. Yep. Okay, I'm heading south. Everybody on me. Follow me. Only deviate if there's loot that uh, I have to move past. By the way, Jordy, please, look, I'm going to miss some questions. I'll try to answer everything, but I literally just answer your question. So do not post a question twice. It's considered spamming and could unfortunately result in a chat ban. So please do not do that. I'd hate to have to do that, but, you know, that's kind of what happens. So please understand that I will not be able to answer every single person's questions. I will try to, but if your question doesn't get answered, do not ask a second time. Or if you're going to ask again, ask later, at a, at a later time, all right? Uh, that's just chat etiquette because sometimes other people also want to have their questions out there and, you know, we try not to miss. If somebody spams, then I may miss other people's questions as well. Um, well, the Eruptor does have about a 10 meter explosion radius, so... You really cannot be using this up close and personal. That being said, it, it's also not that explosive that, you know, like it's going to get a whole group of enemies. They have to be clustered kind of tight. Uh, yep. For the Hulks, you got to hit them from a distance now. Even with the almighty arc of stunning. Shot from the back as well. Okay. 
Okay. Calling in resupply. Up, Nisk. The shrapnel explosion is different from a normal explosion. It's a bit weird, but it does what it does. It does what it says on the packaging, basically. Like you see, I shot that, and other things got hit, so kind of like that. It does work, and it does do well, but like with the Scout Striders, it's always better to aim above them. Going in. Rare sample acquired. I got the terminal. There go. Hello, Aaron God. The Arc Thor did not receive a buff, no. There's no buff to the Arc Thor. Just that if you get the circuit expansion, it can arc one more time. So it's not that the Arc Thor received a buff, it's that there is a potential upgrade for it, but how good the upgrade is, we don't know. We haven't tested it. Uh, that's actually going to be a different... Um, that's actually going to be the next one on my work. list. What doesn't work? I'm just going to laser it. The Eruptor oh, okay. on these. Yeah, I expected it not to work as well as the auto cannon, because otherwise, like the auto cannon being a actual support weapon, if the eruptor completely overtook its role, probably wouldn't be so good. What happened to you? I said I burned, but there was no fire. I didn't touch any fire. The heavy mine stratagem drop? No, 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 no. There's no new stratagems in the game. Okay, automaton post is clear. Uh, but no, Bati, I did not get the, uh, I did not get the Arc Thor upgrade yet. I plan to, after I have enough rare samples. But no, this is the norm. This is just normal. I'm testing how it feels with a normal Arc Thor. Before I get the upgrade. So far, so good though. Do it okay. Oh, come on. No problem, Jordy. Like I said, please just uh, be considerate of other chatters and you should be good to go. It's one of the crucial bits of stream etiquette. So I know, like, everybody wants their question answered, but. The second you post twice, it reflects really badly on you. So I tend, I like sometimes when I see a poster, a person's like very eager and spamming, I'll just not answer their question because there's no point. You know, they're, it just shows me that their character is like that. You know, of course, like if it's the first time, I'll usually just warn the person, so at least they know what's up.
Okay, hulk's down. I think for me the biggest thing about the Eruptor right now is the range limitation. Because a lot of automatons will strike you from like literally outside of the effective range of this stuff. So as much as I like the Eruptor, it still does not replace an actual weapon. Especially against the automatons. I think against the bugs, this would be a much deadlier combination to run. The belly of the charger in two shots sounds about right. Have a taste of democracy. But this testing today is against automatons. And anyway, nobody should be fighting bugs. Unless you're some bug hunter. Because, uh, yeah, major order is against automatons right now. Until they change that major order, this is where we should be fighting. Let me see, what's left in that big base? Do I stream on any other platforms? No. Because literally all other platforms are trash compared to YouTube. Like, YouTube, once you're a partner, and it's really easy to get partnership, they just pay you. So, if you, unless you want to waste your time, like, making content and make no money, and not feed your family, like, assuming you're, you're a full-time creator and all that. I'm not saying this for those hobby creators. Like, for full-timers, it's way better to be on YouTube. The only reason a lot of people don't choose YouTube as a platform is because, they number one, they don't like making videos. Number two, they think that if they just hit the go live button, they're going to do well, which is not how this works. If you love bugs, good. Here's a thumbs up. But how dare you. Mm. Uh, could I try and do that, uh, Corey? Nope. Because, quite frankly, the only thing that I, I would test it on is a heavy target. Grenades are designed for heavy targets, and right now, the thermite grenades don't kill any of the important heavy targets. Like, if you're going to use a grenade on a Devastator, that's hella sad, because you may as well run, like, for example, a stun grenade. Then you can just kill it with your main weapon, you get what I'm saying? So, for me, a grenade is an important tool. I mean, you literally only refill two per supply box, and it's like per supply box. So yeah. You could multi-stream, but what's the point of multi-streaming? Artmark, you really want to focus on four different audiences at once. Not only will your audience feel like you don't give a shit about them, which is what happens 95% of the time, but you also will have it a difficult time focusing. Plus, different streaming platforms have different regulations for um, like streaming, bit, bit rates, bandwidth, all this. And trying to coordinate all of that is very, very unproductive. Plus, your overlays are normally designed for one platform. It's going to get very confusing with alerts on four different platforms. So, multi-streaming is generally considered very... Like, it's something that small timers do. And I guess that's fine if they really want to, but most of the, like, proper streamers, you will never see them, like, multi-streaming. You'll see them, like, streaming to, like, even if they do two different platforms at once, just as an example, they'll usually do, like, um, one platform at a time. Which is also helpful to your audience because, okay, today I'm gonna be on Twitch, right? You can have an overlay design for that, so nobody really multi-streams, so... Anymore, like unless you're really, really small time, you're just trying to discover where you want to go. Like those people are like the five viewer streamers that type, and even then, right? That's the only way they can manage the chat. Like they'll have people on different platforms, but it doesn't really give you additional exposure. The best way to get exposure, you really want to get exposure, is to actually like go out there, create good content, and focus on your platform of choice. You want to, you want to go on Twitch, stay on Twitch. The platform itself doesn't really matter. It's what you do on that platform and how you build up your audience on that platform. So, honest answer. Um, Molly, when you ask whether YouTube has improved discoverability, um, discoverability is actually based entirely on you. So, if you want to get discovered on YouTube, just make good content. That's literally how you get discovered. If you make shit content, not only, like, when YouTube puts your video out to people, they, they're going to take one look at it and just click off the video. And that's what you, then that will literally screw you over. So you, like YouTube discoverability is, I think, the most fair out of all platforms. Because it doesn't matter who you know. 
all right even if you network with tens of thousands of people and or even if you view bot like a lot of some some very shady youtubers you have not gonna name names but even if you view bot what's gonna happen is that your other metrics will not match your view count a lot of people think view counts all that matters no the other metrics will not match the view count and basically uh, as soon as you do that everybody's gonna recognize that you know hey this guy's a view botter and then nobody's gonna want to know you and they will probably click off your video as well so once you do that a couple of times you ruin your discoverability and you'll just see the numbers go down and down and down. I've seen an organization, an entire streaming organization. Um, they've got like 200,000 subscribers. They post a COD video or whatever. It gets like 1,000 views. Like if you've got 200,000 subscribers and you're only getting 1,000 views on your video, it means that nobody's interested in that content. And furthermore, how did they even reach those numbers in the first place? You know, their audience really fell off, but they still plug in the same thing? I don't know. So once people see stuff like that, they usually won't be too happy and they'll just leave... So yeah, that's one of the things that a lot of people who try YouTube, they don't understand. They think that if they get enough numbers, you know, other things will fall in place. It'll go good for a while, but I've seen so many people fail. And I've gone behind the scenes with like folks like Arcane, just explain to them, like these certain people, I know they view bought it, here's their channel now, this is what's happening, haven't grown at all. It's kind of like that. Uh, Rogue One, I will not discuss any names of any individuals. So I'm just going to remove that. I wasn't talking about them or, you know, nor would I, but I don't involve myself in drama. I just say I know some people do. I know who it's doing it, but I will not say anything because this is, a no this is not a drama channel anyway. Well, 2,000 views and two people chatting is fine, actually. If, like, a lot of the people are lurking or you're, let's say you're a super pro high action type streamer then, you know, a lot of people will be tuned in and watching what you do. Um, so you may not get a lot of chat because they're, like, so focused on the action. But it's usually for, like, those hyper-pro streamers that are, like, you know, they show off, like, cool trick shots during games and stuff like that. We're testing out the Eruptor right now. But the Eruptor is the clear winner in this, uh, in this war bond so far. The crossbow? No, everybody's been asking about the crossbow. But so far, only Nightshade has tested it out and... His conclusion is that it's really not very good, and I'm of the same mind having seen it in action. The Eruptor is uh, far superior. Um, oops, sorry, I didn't catch that message as well. Yeah, thank you, Roman and Artmark, but we do not discuss the names. Guys, 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 no names in chat. No streamer names in chat. We do not discuss other streamers here, period. I get that it's within the context of the conversation, but we should never name names. This is not a drama channel, and we do not want to have beef or even invite the smallest bit of misunderstanding from people. So, please respect that rule. No names in chat. We do not discuss such things here. Like, I'm giving an example because I was asked a question, but we should never name names here, guys. Please respect that. Ultimately, we're also here for Helldivers, so let's, you know, aside from slight deviations, let's try and focus the conversation back on that. No, I know you weren't being negative, but it's just that we should avoid naming names anyway, because the internet is the internet, guys. Sometimes even if you say something in a positive light, right, people go freaking stupid for it, and they'll say all sorts of, oh, you know, he was talking about this person. And, like, you just get dragged into this mire of drama, so for me... Yeah, let's uh, just fall back next year. I, I'm, I'm running. <laughs> I'm running already to the extraction. Yeah, me but yeah, too, I usually just, uh, I usually just stay away from naming names and stuff like that, because it can invite, even if you don't intend for it, it can invite negativity to the channel. And ultimately, this is a place for hell divers chilling out, and for me to role play as a general. So I usually just stay away from that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but you know, the internet's the internet. You can't help it. You know, even if you have the best intentions, other people will be weird about it. Calling down it's the spies. unfortunate truth of... Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this patrol. It's the unfortunate truth of people. Like, I know you guys, as as my community, would never be negative or, you know, bad in any way, and I, I respect that, you know? I, I know, yeah, I know you guys are awesome. But it's the other people out there who will be watching. You know, we got some ops who always turn up to my streams, but they never say anything. They're just waiting for a slip-up, you know? I don't give the ops the chance. 
Oh, right, right, right. There's a pod there. I should go clear that. And KeyJX, thank you so much. Here's a salute for you. Thank you very much for supporting. The reload menu? Sure. That's it. You've got semi, 50, 100, 200. But you usually will not really be using it. Uh, you will not be using the higher level magazine, uh, sorry, the magnifying scopes. Because one thing with the Eruptor is that the Eruptor does not fire at a very long range. It's actually got a range limit on it, which is, I think it's pretty interesting. But I love the Eruptor because one whole bot drop, no problem. LOL! I'm muted. You muted? Yeah, I was muted. LOL! That's a lot of tanks out here today. What's going on? I don't know, but hey, you know what I just did? I threw a termite on a tank and it blew up. If you hit the vent. <laughs> but you could do that with an impact. I, I know, that's the point. <laughs> it's not very good. But I hit the vent with it and it died. No, I understand, Robin. But one thing that you gotta understand is that for when it comes to multi-platform on like for like the big streamers, it's very different for them. Like some of them have entire teams to help them manage this kind of stuff, whereas I don't. As a solo creator, until you're making big money, you really, you really don't, uh, you really can't afford to be on multi-platforms because the management is hell. Honest, honestly, God. But if you've got like a yes. full-on squad to assist you, then absolutely, you know. Sorry for interrupting you, Arcane. What were you saying? No, I was, I was just saying it is. Like, yeah. And that's for me just starting, like, just getting used to managing, just that plus yep. your socials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Intense. LOL! <laughs> LOL. Don't worry, I got your samples, buddy. Thank you, <laughs> have a great day. <clears throat> well, the Eruptor can destroy fabricators, take out groups. Um, you got 12 mags, so it's pretty good. It is only 5 shots, but it's pretty damn good. You know? Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. <laughs> the termite is trash on Terrace. You sure you're not saying you were on a bug planet, Noah? I think you might have been. Another victory for the right side of history. Always, Corey. You salute to you. Chat. Thank you so much. You mm -hmm. I totally misread that last name. Lol. Did you miss it? Did you misread it as Corey Burns? No, I misread it as Cory Buns. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought too. <laughs> hey, y'all, huh? <laughs> But yeah, um, just to just to finish out that previous topic, when it comes to the big streamers and the big content creators, what they have is like a team of guys, and they pay these people. So like, once I reach that level, dude, I would happily pay somebody else to be like, okay, so I'm gonna be streaming at these times per every day. And you just got us, you're going to help me manage Twitch. And this other guy's going to help me manage YouTube. And I focus on my streaming and they'll be communicating with me and all that kind of stuff. So um, usually if they, if you have that kind of support and you've got overlay designers and everything to integrate all of it, like these guys usually have custom shit going on. So yeah, um, that I would say is totally cool. But like me, I, I've just got my phone to, to sort of like manage my chat. So um, having just one I is good, especially like, so you know, when you're, when you're like a one man operation. Yeah. And even now the YouTube app is crashing. So like, <laughs> wouldn't be easy without a team. I'll be right back. Mm. All right, guys, I'm going to head to bed. I'll All right. Work in like three hours or something. So lol. Yeah, it's good enough. You'll be fine. Sleep well, buddy. Yep. All right. See us. Bye. If anyone else of the appropriate rank wishes to join me, uh, destroyer has left just squadron. just slip in. But yes, the new war bond is out, dude. The resupply module doesn't work on recoilless. Uh, hmm. L diver. Still the gives you three rockets instead of filling the whole backpack. Okay. Um, that is noted. 
Let's have a look-see at the modules while we wait and see if uh, anyone's going to fill our last spot. Mm. Yeah, it's supposed to work for it, so... That is very odd because it is it is here, so uh, take note. Uh, I've taken note of it, but since I don't have proof right now, what you can do is that if you want to help others out, um, what you can do is go take a short video of it and send it to Arrowhead, and it'll settle it. And at least they'll know that it's not working right. How far have the bots pushed? Everywhere, man! Come on, they are literally everywhere. Does it work on the AMR? Any thoughts on the new arc stratagem? Haven't tried it yet. When I've tried it, I will. I'll let you know. A lot of stuff Your is going to take some grind to get. So please security. understand that we're not going to be able to Do test them. everything today. We can only test the basics. So save all your other important questions for two, three days down the line, because that's going to be when we will have fully tested everything. So it's really not a not a good idea. You may be double dipping for other stuff, Pete. So if you do get a video. If you can get video evidence, please show it to Arrowhead. Telling me doesn't help, because telling me I can't fix the issue for you. I'm not a dev. I'm just a guy on YouTube. So anytime you see an issue or you see some bug, you can let me know. But after that, what you need to do, take a video of it, go send it straight to Arrowhead. Are the new support weapons better than taking the autocan? There are no new support weapons. So not quite sure what you're talking about, Dias, but there are no new support weapons. There's still the same support weapons Hello, in there. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Welcome, new subscriber. Um, as for whether or not any of these will, any of the new primary weapons will replace the auto cannon, of course not. The auto cannon is a support weapon. Um, the eruptor can do some interesting Greetings, things, Helldiver. but ultimately the you will still miss out wolves. on range combat. So if I were going to choose a weapon, I'd probably choose the AMR. Reminder. Signs if I wanted a backpack. Should be reported to the democracy officer. Otherwise, I could just take an auto cannon, and basically, I have the eruptor and the auto cannon sort of doing double duty. Like that's also entirely possible. So yeah, there's a there's a lot of options right now, to be perfectly honest. Okay, let's carry on. Last operation. I don't think any of our pals are joining us for today, which is totally fine. Um. Okay. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods primed. Engaging orbital thrusters. James C, it doesn't penetrate, then erupt. It's just an explosive. It explodes on contact. Orbit synchronized. Explodes on impact, yeah. The adjudicator is definitely underwhelming. As for the rest, I would say it depends on personal preference. I'm going with localization confusion this time. Right proper. And I'm going straight back to my stuns. Thermite, it was a good run, but nah, screw you. Um, why would I run the laser cannon and ballistic shield? You can't use the laser cannon together with the ballistic shield, and the laser cannon does everything that the auto cannon does, but worse. So I'm not quite sure what the logic behind that is. Unless you're talking about the Quasar Cannon. Quasar Cannon's different from the Laser Cannon. But again, I, I wouldn't run the Ballistic Shield because I just don't need to... Like, look, you don't need to defend against things that are already dead, right? Um, Jose, the rescue missions are always not only buggy, but difficult to complete. So I would say don't bother with them. Well, we'll see whether or not the localization is good. Hello, DJ. Also, don't forget to like the stream if you haven't already. LOL, eruption on contact. You guys are weirdos. This thing is pretty, like, honest to God, when it comes to the penetration of this, it's pretty damn deadly. Not gonna lie. Requesting yeah, you can just avoid the rescue mission. 
Stop laughing at the jokes, man. It's just it is what it is, bro. <laughs> they they literally they literally call it er eruptor. You know, it penetrates the enemy. You're like, what, what more? What are we supposed to do, huh? Uh huh? We're stuck yeah. with it, bro. We're stuck with it. I'm trying this weapon. I've never used it before. Which one is that? The HMG. Oh, okay. What do I hear things? Uh, Glade, did you activate it? Uh, yeah, one second. I'm gonna shoot those lasers. Piss me off. Okay. Wow. I know, right? Hmm, let me see. The thermite can kill a bile titan. Nice. Where did you stick it? Where did you stick your thermite on the bile titan? Defender, ballistic shield, laser cannon, stuns. Uh, fair enough. Um, I guess you could run that if you want, but I would still think of it as a very shit combination. Like, forgive me for saying so, but you have no way of dealing with fabricators by yourself. So yeah, the laser cannon's good anti-air, but do you really need anti-air? I mean, you literally have an auto cannon. For that so I don't know I guess if you want to be the tank for your team I could see it being used in a niche situation but I probably wouldn't uh, apply it as a proper like as a proper style of play for me at least um, it just seems to me lack like a potentially lackluster play style that being said I wouldn't knock it if somebody wanted to use it like if somebody you know was really good with it there's always that possibility um, I am definitely not totally exemplary uh, Kuramor, I'm sorry, but that statement is inappropriate, so you're gonna have to go into a 10 minute timeout. If you say certain things on YouTube, I know you're joking around, but certain jokes are not allowed because YouTube is quite sensitive about the kind of speech that we make on this platform. As a partner, I have to enforce their rules and regulations, so forgive me for that, but that kind of conversation, okay, no go here. Even as a joke, no go. Alright, try to keep it friendly here. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber <clears throat> tonight. Requesting air support. Attack underway. Yeah, no, I mean, if you like it, go for it. It's just that, like, having no way to deal with fabricators, like, just doesn't strike me as the right way to do things. Back I'm gonna go to where the right super samples are there, as well as a bunch of other stuff, so. Ah, you threw it on the Bile Titan's head. Uh, fair enough. The Thermite will kill most of the targets if it can get onto, like, the weak spot. Which is pretty cool. Ah, metals. Precious. That I'm 100% down for. Why aren't I getting bored with the auto cannon? Why would I get bored with the auto cannon? I literally just played a couple rounds with some other stuff. Now I'm coming back. The auto can is just good. Okay, he's got the super samples there. For me, a weapon isn't like, oh my god, I find this exciting to play. No, a weapon is just a tool. Something shot from behind? God, come on. Okay, calling you in. Sending an eagle. Reloading. Ah, okay. So that's what it was. There's a tower somewhere. Rage against the machine is real. Calling in 
Then it just real candidate. Found something. What is this? Oh, rare samples. Good, good, good. Rare samples gimme, gimme, gimme. The new light armor is interesting. I'm glad you like it. Welcome, Fox. How many hours do I have in Helldivers? About 300. 300 something. Yeah. I think the grenade pistol should be able to destroy the fabricators reliably, but we'll have to see. I'm assuming it'll be a lob type grenade, but if it's not, that's gonna be painful. But I haven't unlocked it yet. I'm gonna unlock the crossbow first, because that's a bigger priority. Grenade pistol by tomorrow morning is okay with me. Okay. We're totally jammed. So I'm gonna go erupt on the jammer best armor set for automatons just for me I use medium armor some people use light it's genuinely your choice I'd say choose based on you know oh there's a fab there's a fab on the other side of that enemy tactical asset within threat range <laughs> oh I killed myself what the hell I gotta get used to that. What'd you do? Hide the eruptors, it's radius. I gotta get used to it. I keep forgetting. I love I how this like, thing. Oh, robot I'm... I know, right? I love how this devastator, right? It can do this weird trick shot. It turned away from me and somehow still kills me. Oh crap, I might die. Ah, damn it. Thought I had time to stim. Guess not. Just throw me in toward the jammer if you can. Should be ahead of you. Thanks, yeah, Wade. let me run back there and get you. No, no, no. You won't be able to throw me close. Don't forget it's jammer. So just, just throw me near you, but in the direction of the jammer. Okay, thanks, Arcane. <laughs> I'll orient myself and I'll head back there. Um, shall we all go to jammer? Reporting to the front. Yes. Okay, y'all head there because you won't be able to clear the science facility anyway until it's done. Um, I'll grab my stuff and finish off that last fabricator. Yeah, if the grenade pistol proves to be reliable, then dude, there are three hulks over here. Be careful. I don't know how they got there, but you really try not to piss them off. Drew the attention of one. Got it. Oh, you did. Good. Requesting Summoning a glade. I'm gonna go get the samples back. an irritation. Are any of the new Warbond weapons better than the Dominate and Scorcher? Up to you. Um, for, like, I would say watch my testing on it, Javier. 
Because asking me and me telling you, there's no straightforward answer. Just like with all other weapons in Helldivers, as you know, the game balance in this game is very, very unique. So a lot of weapons are mostly side grades. They're not really like upgrades or downgrades. Like each of them will also be like a different tool for a different purpose. Right now we really do like the Eruptor because it's kind of like a... So almost like an AOE type uh, auto cannon grenade launcher kind of dealio. It does very well at what it's supposed to do, but it does have its own downside as well. So you just have to be aware of those. It can be good, but just be aware that there are things that you are giving up for. Like, it has a very slow fire rate. So realistically speaking, you're still going to be able to use the auto cannon, and, the, and there's still a role for the auto cannon. Um, okay, does everybody have all their samples and stuff? I'll go back and destroy the science facility. Uh, yes, I have all mine. Um, I, like, see, I respect that opinion, but I would also say that, you know, he should test for himself. For, like, when you say it doesn't compare, in what way are you measuring? Because, for example, for me, the it's way better, like, when you have, like, a group of enemies because it takes out all of them at once. You can also take out scout striders from the front. Very similar to the um, Scorcher. Slow fire rate, yes, but it's got more AoE and more damage than the Scorcher, so those are the pros. The cons are very, very slow bolt action, and it's only got 5 per mag. That being said, you do get 12 mags, so... Okay, help bomb arm. So yeah, it's up to each individual what they, how they want to utilize this kind of thing, because it's a very useful tool, and of course it can close fabricators, which the, um, which the jar and the scorcher both can. So it does free up another slot. So if you didn't like it, that's totally fine. But we got to give a fair perspective. So what can it do? What can it do? You know, that's what I always tell people. When giving an opinion, I always tell them, like, okay, so here's the pros, here's the cons. Of course, ultimately, they'll decide for themselves, but we should always attempt as much as we can to give people full information. The insane sample requirement is so that, like, we don't all, like, day one clear everything, you know? That's what they're trying to do. Like, they don't want us to be able to completely clear everything straight away. Yeah. Well, preference is one thing. There are some options, obviously, that are inefficient. Like, for example, the Adjudicator, not a very strong option, regardless of how we try and swing it. Um, and the reasons for that being the fact that uh, the Adjudicator doesn't really do much. It's actually, a, like, the Liberator... It's, like, trying to be in between the Liberator Penetrator and, like, the Diligence Counters and, like, the Diligence, but it's kind of worse at both, so... Yeah. And that's another major downside. So, Eruptor, like here, I've got a group, right? But there's not a tight group. So, in this particular case, my Eruptor's not gonna do very much. And also, against the Hulk, the Eruptor can't do anything. Ooh, the bot drop was here, apparently. Ugh, requisition. <clears throat> Fam just gonna quickly deal with the bot drop. What I like about the Eruptor is just its ability to sort of one-shot a lot of targets. Like, if you see a certain Devastator or whatever, you can actually almost one-shot them with the Eruptor, which I really, really do like. Okay. Yep, heading there. Just heading up to where Arcane... Ooh. Arcane homie. There are two bots there, and they're, like, be behaving weird. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let you take care I didn't care see him. <laughs> yeah, they were just there, ready to rip you apart, man. Well, they didn't detect me. I'm just like strolled up behind them. Crossbow, I haven't gotten it yet. Once I've tested it, I'll let you guys know. That is true. The Eruptor is definitely a, a great choice for a Blitz mission. Like I said, each weapon has its strengths and weaknesses. Although the Adjudicator is mostly weaknesses, as far as I've heard. And the Crossbow, as far as I've heard, is also not really very good. Hey, if you like the new grenade pistol, use it, you know? Like I said, everything has its strengths and weaknesses. I can't wait to assess it for myself as well. I don't know why the host leaves for pub games. Maybe they got stuff to do. But either way, they can always finish it later, so. 
Do you guys still hear the jammer? No. It sounds like a sound bug. It does. There are some sound bugs. Like I once had a devastator firing forever. So. No, uh, Norbert, I already corrected this in my video comments. It gives you one more bomb. So that means, you know, your Eagle Airstrike, it used to drop, like, let's say, example, four bombs before. It now drops a fifth bomb. That's it. It doesn't give you an extra use. I was wrong. So um, after investigation, I realized, oh, so that's what it's supposed to do. Is that a laser? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh! Uh, LOL! My guy. Oh, Arcane, your own laser. Not my laser. Oh, was it? Whose laser was that then? I thought you threw it. The other one. <laughs> was it Glade's laser? It was. I see. No, no, I'll reload here. Like, another thing I like about the Eruptor is that when there's a bot drop, like, I can literally just shoot my Eruptor at the, at the bot drop, and it'll usually take out most of it. So, for me, this is a, this is a big plus, but... It depends on the individual. But I hate the bolt action part of it. Hard to run sometimes. Yeah, it makes it a little late. slow. Yeah, it does. But once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. It's not bad, but you have to build around it, like Chad said. Um, eagles are definitely more deadly, yeah. I'd say so. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of liking a lot of different stuff in the stratagem, so it's pretty good. By the way, again, I apologize if I miss uh, things in chat. I will try and answer everything that I can while gaming as well. How does Ruptor work on Hulks? It doesn't work on Hulks at all. You, although, if you shoot them in the back, they'll die, but... The Eruptor doesn't really hit them well in the back, so... But against these Devastators... Hello, robot. I love being able to one-shot them with the Eruptor. It feels nice. Tonight. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Yeah, the Eruptor's explosion damage is really, really good. And I'm talking really, really good. Dropping a pin. Northeast. Arcane found a rare sample. All right, let's get let's get out of this mission. <laughs> well, the eruptor, if you've got five berserkers chasing you, I would say that that's a fundamental issue already. Because the eruptor, I think, would be great for shooting those berserkers as they come down. Like by the time they come down, you should have already shot them. If you're waiting until they chase you, like I said, fundamental skill issue. So, I do like all the weapons here, and in fact, the Eruptor is probably going to be a big main for us in the Super Earth Elite for quite some time. It does a lot. It's hard to justify not bringing it along, because it does do a lot. To make the Adjudicator good, then they need to fulfill its primary purpose. When they first advertised the Adjudicator, they said it would be a weapon that shreds, you know, medium armor targets. like. The, the wording used is shreds. So the Adjudicator needs to have a large magazine size, be able to absolutely tear through everything up to medium armor. Some people might say, but wouldn't that make the heavy machine gun useless? Well, then, you know, I think it's the heavy machine gun that needs to be looked at. Because then why advertise it as a shredder type weapon when it's not? You know what I'm saying? So for me, that was a major, that was a major downside. Like, I feel that they did a really bad job on that. The Eruptor actually fares worse, rather than on Berserkers, it fares worse against these guys. Because if you don't get the first shot done right, they can chase you around a bit. But if you get the first shot lined up, no problems. 
Unfortunately, that guy's gonna call in. Oh, yes, get him. We shall have a bot drop here. So like if there's a drop like that right with my eruptor, you know I can finish off whatever the eagle strike doesn't finish off. Which again, Lord big big. For me at least that's big. I just love being able to do that. But I can also understand why people wouldn't like it. Thermite absolutely sucks. Yeah, kinda. It's not great for anything. Like, unless you get a really accurate throw, I feel like it doesn't do a lot of damage. Which is unfortunate. The jar can one hit devastators absolutely, but you need to be precise on the dot with the head. The eruptor doesn't, which is really nice, yeah. Actually, the auto cannon is definitely good against Berserkers too. So having both is kind of nice. And the eruptor, well, the eruptor is more of a mid range because it's got a range limit. So I'd say it's more mid range than anything. But yes, you're kind of right about that. You can hope you can get urban combat. Me too. Change color while aiming. You just go here and go to accessibility. And you can change your reticle color. I use yellow because it's easier in most, uh, in most games for me. So yellow tends to work best in most games. So back when I used to play a lot of competitive FPS... Um, I tended to use yellow as my color. It worked great for visibility and made it so I could always sight my targets. So I really liked uh, that as a color. Coming here, I bring the same vibe. So, oop. As you can see, the Eruptor, it, the sight is not fully misaligned, but it's a bit weird. You will tend to shoot a bit higher than where you aim. So try to aim a bit lower with it. So, yeah, they'll get the scope alignment right eventually, but it does have that issue right now. No problem, Norbert. I'm happy to help when I can, you know, and happy to bring entertainment to people. I like that people like my streams, you know, it's good. I want to keep building up so that I can become one of those, like, 500, 1,000 people streamers. Like, the downside will be that I'll be able to interact a bit less. You know, I'll try and catch as many questions as I can, but... At the very least, I'll be able to feed my family more, do more content, maybe even hire some other people to, like, uh, read out important questions and things like that. You know, that would be really nice. But I'm still far from that, so... The day will come. The day will come. Though it may not be today. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Now, where's extraction? Aw, oh, hell, really? Another yep. Triumph from That's ass. I had no bullets in my magnum. I was thinking, hmm, why can't I just dive and shoot this guy? Uh, Jack Carpenter, don't do those missions. We completely avoid those missions. Even with my coordinated team, I completely avoid the missions. What I do is I host an operation without it, and I just let people play that. Guaranteed success, guaranteed liberation banked in. Hmm. I don't think thermiting the legs will work. I think that may not uh, work very well. Oh, so you're saying you want to use the thermite on the charger's legs? Yeah, yeah, I guess you could. But guys, guys, a major order is automatons. Why are you guys discussing bugs? Come on, come on, come on. We gotta hit automatons, okay? We can fight the bugs when there's a bug order. Yeah, Norbert, I agree with the evac missions being deleted. At, at the very least, they don't work for automatons, and I feel that that is uh, a big negative. Collected. Caught some normal samples. I swear I could hear the rare sample noise, but there was nothing. 
The thermite sideways. Oh. Did you hit a UXO? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. New mag. I'll wait till your eagle's in. Once, though, ladies and gents, you'll see us take a bit longer on missions because now we're hunting samples again. Good old sample hunt. See right there? I love the Eruptor because I shoot one shot, all of them get taken out. You see the multi kill pop up. Feels great. That and not much precision needed. At least less than the jar, so I don't know. For me, it's an easy, easy type of weapon. Hmm. Would you like a boost? <laughs> no, I can just. That would be cool. Uh... We could boost each other. That would be cool. It would actually be a nice mechanic, wouldn't it? I heard you got a new subscriber. Yeah, like, like Molly says, for those who retrieve essential personnel missions, they're just badly designed at their fundamentals. And sure, there's a methodology to doing it, but it does require coordination and communication, which I think is not really something that most co-op games um, force these days. So. I think that what should happen probably is that they'll have to rework it because the Helm's Deep mission is super fun and I think they're they're already trialing this new defense mission specifically because they know that uh, they ah damn it couldn't stim in time sorry I'm way too happy about using the Eruptor. Oh, lol. Alright, Blade Runners. Everybody called in? Okay, good. Rare Grab some more rare samples. Yeah, we're getting attacked again. Okay. I'm just trying to find my sample container. Get my auto cannon back. In fairness, I probably should auto cannon those guys, but. Eruptor. I see them through the light. Why am I reloading this? this there we go. Hey, BBS. Corruptor's good. Also, you are late as hell. Mm -hmm. Most disappointing, right, Arcane? It is. Okay, have we got all the samples? I know, right? What a nerd. Shielded Eruptor, you, Eruptor is a two-handed weapon, you can't use a shield with it. Unless you're talking about the energy shield, I mean, that could work. Alright, let's go. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Lol, it's alright. Yeah, I feel that the Eruptor is semi, like, it's decent, you know. It is semi-auto, by the way. I think you mean if the Eruptor is automatic, but it being semi-auto is fine. It's not a rapid-fire weapon. It's a single-shot, bolt-action type weapon, which is good. Laser cannon has potential, but the biggest problem with the laser cannon is that I just don't feel it's as good as an auto cannon. You know, the auto cannon just does more, and when you need to kill a Hulk, that's one of the other options. I'd rather go AMR, if you ask me. I would definitely rather go AMR. 
Like the AMR would have a lot more utility in my opinion. I think it feels better with the AMR. I mean, to me, bolt action is roughly the same as semi-auto because of one shot at a time. I mean, I get that semi-auto you can fire and then fire again and then fire again. But, you know, for me, the bolt action semi-auto is pretty much the same. It, like, to me. Because it's still one single shot at a time. At most, like, if they made it semi-auto, fine, fair enough. Um, it would give it a bit more viability. But you are right that with its low ammo count and high recoil, it might not it might not be so good to fire it that way either. But I mean, it's their own. For me, I don't mind the bolt action. Just ten. Yes, I do Just run the exterminator. The enemy is attempting to seize one of our planets. Yeah, the we AMR with the, the new ship module would be great. In fact, actually, wait, I should check. I think I might have enough. No, I do not. I need two more. Jesus. Okay, let's see. For our war bonds. I am just a little bit away from the crossbow. I think it would be fine if the laser cannon was like that, King Raven. Or even if not increased damage, right? I'd rather it have increased armor penetration the longer you fire. Like, that might make more sense. No, I've never experienced that bug, Wolf. That bug, definitely not. So what I do, normally do for those that asked is like, I'll see these defense missions, right? All of them have retrieved essential personnel, but this one doesn't. So I'll usually like, I'll see this and I'll say, okay, so I'll drop into this one. Mission Eradicates off. first. Uh, I could do grenade pistol, but I'm not really as keen on the grenade pistol. I can probably check that tomorrow morning instead. No, I do not have the pistol yet. I want to get the crossbow first. I think the primary weapons, testing all of them, that's going to be more major. If I can test all of them, that's that'll be better for me because I think it's important. And no, the Redeemer is not better with this build. The Senator is always a great choice against bots and you probably want to always have a Senator. Because without it, you're going to suffer a lot. Allied destroyer. Honest, honest answer. Without the Senator, expect to suffer. Hmm. Should Is this I? Home deep? No. Eradicate mission. Yeah. I do like the senator against the bots. Yeah, Eruptor is all about that splash. Like, you don't have to be accurate with it, but the Dominator you do. Well, true. No, you, you're not wrong about that, Jeff. Um, but, like I said, it's got other utility issues. That's why I don't really like the laser cannon. Still, I feel that it may be useful. I'm still... <laughs> I'm still trying a variety of things, but... But with the Eruptor's potential, you know... Maybe Eruptor, Grenade Pistol, Laser Cannon, Shield... Not the Ballistic Shield, but the Shield itself. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Could be, could work. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Go now. In fact, tell you what, just for you guys' sake, I will actually test that out next round. Since many people have asked about the laser cannon, I personally don't like it, but you know what? Why not, right? Why not? Yeah, we've tried the new grenade, we don't like it. It is, mm, on a scale of 1 to it's probably ass, it's kind of ass, like no lie. <laughs> oh, come on. What was that? Oh. What the? What the hell was jumping at us? Was it those, like, uh, jetpack guys? I swear, those did not look like the, uh... Jumper guys, you know, those look like some kind of spider mine dudes. I was like, man, what's this terrifying new enemy? Uh, 
I wonder. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Okay, I'm hating these guys so much. Come down here. That does work. You said that the eruptor can't uh, like pierce a uh, Hulk eye, right? Not the Hulk eye, but if you shoot it at its cr um, crotch, ooh, come on! Ah, the burning damage. Losing mortars. Yep. Oh, this is a bad spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're dropping right on us. Throw me to the other side. Some of these eradicate missions, I think they they try to eliminate the unfairness of just staying outside the base because they know that that's everyone's tactic with the bots. But yeah, some of these spots are just ass. Not even the good kind of ass. Oh, sorry, Arcane. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone talked about berserkers countering the eruptor. They don't. As you can see, a little bit of hiding the... skill is fine. Oh crap! What were you saying about firing at the Hulk's crotch with the eruptor? Uh, don't don't ask don't ask questions right now. I'll tell you later. Okay. Focus on combat. We need everything killed. Oh, we're doomed. This is called movement tech. Calling down a sentry. One shot, five kills, right there. That's what I love about the eruptor. Finally died by burning. Thanks, Gure. All right, it's arrived. Just throw me next to the shuttle. Anyway, uh, what I was saying earlier is that the auto cannon. There's a weird technique where if you hit uh, somewhere between the thigh of the Hulk and its crotch plate, you will actually damage the generator on the back. This was with the auto cannon. I don't know if it works the same way as the eruptor, because the eruptor theoretically could do that. As you can see, the Redeemer pistol, which Glade is trying to use, doesn't really work very well. This is why we generally use the Senator. There. Please land on the hull. Ah, crap, I missed. I might get him. Get on the ship if you guys are here. Ship's here. Everybody on the ship now. Ah, whoever got on the ship before me body blocked me. <laughs> yeah, the Redeemer is only useful against the small bots, so we actually don't use it. Liberty has seen you through. But I Which think the Redeemer? what the Redeemer is the pistol that we used to use, or the one that we use against uh, bugs. Yeah, a little pew pew. Oh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> this is the revolver for so long now. I'm like, what? There's others? What? <laughs> the Eruptor is better against bugs? Uh, no, it's actually really good against bots. <laughs> 
like I said, if you just run back when Berserkers are chasing you, shoot them in the head, like I was doing earlier. I was just running back, shoot, 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 and run. It, it's you got to be used to certain weapons. Like the Eruptor for me is something that I have played in other games, and I I am okay with it. I mean, we'll give you one example. All the way way back when when I played Warframe years and years ago, like talking ten years ago, I used to use the freaking Vectus. Vectus was a one like one bullet at a time sniper rifle. So. Like that, that, that is just bringing me back to those days, Mission except that I don't have my ninja type movement, but yeah. Welcome I used to use that kind of shit. I look so it is a precision weapon, but also it's an AoE type of precision weapon. So it's very nice. The Galactic War awaits. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods primed. Engaging orbital thrusters. One more mission, and then I should be able to unlock it. Oh yes, I think I can actually get the crossbow now. Let me go see how ass it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, time for me to experience trash. Okay. Smell divers to smell pods. <laughs> yeah, fair. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna drop us on the illegal broadcast station. And I'll bomb it when I get down there. Actually, wait, this is the perfect chance. Let me try the Lizier Canon and the Shield together with the crossbow. Where is the crossbow? Oh, there it is. Well, the Punisher Plasma is Arcane's favorite weapon, so you say the crossbow can't be worse than the Punisher Plasma. I think Arcane gonna beat you up, bro. <laughs> Imagine if crossbow is the new meta, dude. Man, you know. We'll see. And Merc Platypus, did you just admit to fighting bugs? Huh? The Major Order says automatons and you out there testing against bugs? How dare you even test equipment in a reasonable situation? Oh my god, the projectile speed is ass! Oh my god, I can't take down the broadcast station. I bet the eruptor could. Dude, dude, this thing fires. Did that? Was that with the eruptor? Did you yeah. erupt all over that broadcast station? Damn! Damn! I'm upset. I'm gonna die so I can take up that weapon. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you wanna do you wanna deal with these guys over here, Mr. I? I'm working on it. Yeah. What do you mean you're working on it? I am. I'm working on it. <laughs> Work on it faster. I'm trying. I'm trying. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. <laughs> we are all in range of enemy artillery. I'm gonna go over there and give him some artillery of my own. God, this crossbow I sucks. I agree okay. with you 100. percent Ow. Damn. Oh, why did I take more damage and you not? Guy got a shield. Oh my god. Dude, where's dude, the artillery? It's over here. I'm, I'm heading toward it right now. East. Dude. This, this artillery is like dead shotting me right now. Dude, everything is freaking sh dead shotting right now. Ugh. I didn't know these bots turned into the freaking COD players and started buying cheats. Okay, 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 okay. They can have some air support now. Ah, that destroys everything. Don't erupt on that fabricator, I was gonna test it. <laughs> I was gonna test my crossbow. Oh, my bad. That's okay. <laughs> you, can, you can destroy fabricators with the eruptor? Uh, yes, you can. Just hit the vent. Easy. And not, you don't have to ricochet like the assault cannon, just hit the vent and you're good to go. There's some serious projectile drop off on this shit. Oh, uh, sorry, I need a, one guy here. I found a friendship bunker. Okay, coming. Wow, this crossbow's trash! Oh god, it's like an eruptor, but worse at everything it does. It's the semi automatic, <laughs> it's like the semi automatic eruptor that everybody wanted, but. 
literally, literally bad. I'm out. I'm out of ammo. No. Okay, it's dead. I can't hit anything. Oh no. Are you trying it too? No, I have to wait two more. How you talking? How dare you talk about not hitting anything? Huh? Have you seen my misses? Uh, okay, you loot this thing. Blade, I'm moving on. Blade, I think you have your uh, voice chat on. Oh yes, please you know. disable your voice chat. I yeah. just muted him. Lol. Yeah, your in game. Could you just uh, mute yeah, done. your mic? Thank you. Shank you, shank you. Wow, oh, this is trash. Uh, no, the reload menu just literally says semi. That's that's it. All it says is semi. So, on a scale of one to this is booty. Mm. This is super booty. Ah, requisition, go away. I want you. I miss my ruptor so badly. Up behind you, well. Yeah, just call him. Just call him BBS. Or call him whatever you want. Call him a nerd. You can call him Fang. Don't call me late to dinner. Yeah, just call him like. Yeah. Just call him like VVS, GVS, CVS. <laughs> no you problem, Crusade. Super <laughs> it's a salute for you. <laughs> yes, call him CVS. You know, like when they ask people to send in their CVs. Exactly. This thing is so trash. Man. I hate this so much. Why am I using this jackass of a weapon? Oh, those are way up there. Get that. Found something. <laughs> <laughs> and these yeah, push the yes. controls? What do you mean you changed the controls? Dang it. Eagle ASMR, Lamau. So, it wasn't like this one at the beginning oh, of the day when I tested and I found the ship modules in the war bond, but now my controller touchpad is what I use to bring up my map and ready up instead of the options button. Oh, so this will know why. I know none of what that means, but I'm gonna nod my head anyway. Requesting yes. It bounced! My eagle bounced. Why'd it bounce? Why are you like this eagle? Okay. Piss off. Piss off. I love it. What is? The Eruptor. Oh, for a second I thought you were talking about the crossbow. I was about to say, you gotta get your hit checked, man. Need so many common samples. We all do. Now then. Oh my god, I'm trying to test this shit. Oh crap, I got eliminated by burning. I didn't even see myself burn. Ah. Throw me up here. I've got one more gotcha. I've got one more fab there. I already, I already yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. Where am I? Reporting to the front. Okay. Yeah, um for now, because we have to gather samples, just avoid throwing me um elsewhere. Do you want a hand over there? No no no, I'm here to test the fabricator, that's all. Oh, okay. I need to see if this piece of crap can even close a fabricator. It, I mean, it's born trash, but, you know, maybe. Can I ricochet a shot? Okay, hell no. Nearby. So, like Nightshade says, I literally have to put it through the door. That is trash. I can't even call it a fast response type dealio. It's 
not even going through this door and it looks like it's open. You know what? I don't care anymore. Nope. The crossbow is officially, in my opinion, ass. Like, the way they sold it to us is that it's going to be like this mass penetrative, like, reactive thing. I can't even put it through the vent. Nope. Nope. Maybe it's really good against heavy armored targets, like bolts. No. No. Nitrate already tested that. Oh, hey! Two rare samples, at least. Okay, God is good. Um, but yeah, no. Nightshade tested it against the Hulk, so it can't really do much. I'll test it again myself, of course, but I don't think it'll do much. So, the supply box buff not working? Yeah. I mean, a crossbow would be, would be fine if it, like, you know, hit the target, drove into the target, and then exploded inside. Like, that, totally fine. That's how they were sold to us. But this... This is, this is like a pea shooter that explodes. Chances, like, and, yeah, like, uh, Plenty Henny said, by the time the crossbow gets there, it's three to five business days, you know? I think, I think that this, uh, crossbow is working on, uh, working on dark tide time here. Lil. This crossbow was literally made with Internet Explorer, man. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. The supply box buff is supposed to help you get a full oh, supply oh, with support oh. weapon. Don't be killing each other now. Alright, I gotta go get rid of some artillery. I'll be back. Where is it? Okay, I see uh, it. Nope. I'm going there too. I'm gonna go warn him. After my last, after my last, uh, misadventure, I'm very, very pissed off. I'm gonna go adjust their attitude. Uh, King Raven, I'd say, actually, you know what, that's, that's actually pretty accurate. The Adjudicator, at least, I mean, it's trash, but at least it has some use. This crossbow, goddamn. What am I supposed to use it against, a Kindergartner? Nice. I got 20 kills with that eagle alone. Nice. XL, XXL hanger. Mm. Oh, XXL. Uh, I was watching. I was watching the video you put up. Are you sure that the uh, the uh, bomb expansion for the uh, multi bomb stratagems is an extra use? No, that's incorrect already. Drop? Yeah, already already corrected that. It's more bombs are dropped. So yeah, I pinned a comment on it because a couple of people already corrected me on that. And once I got in here and tested it, yes, it is not an extra use. I thought it was, but and I was super excited, but it wasn't. But actually, this upgrade is also not bad um, because there was previously like uh, a little bit of a hole kind of in the center where the... Did you want to join me on that robot? On what? Oh, that cannon. Oh, base? Yeah, sure. Um, so there was a bit of a hole in the middle of the bombing. Uh, let's go Marking Let's go grab this yellow no thing red. first. Hey, but yeah, If you fire your quasar and I fire my adjudicator at that, will the explosion take it out? What? If Glade fires his quasar at the laser cannon and I fire my adjudicator at it, will it take it out? Adjudicator? You mean eruptor? Eruptor, whatever. Uh, no, because the eruptor. Yeah, let's try it. No, we've tried it before. Mm -hmm. It will not work. Um, it's actually better if I use my laser cannon. Because the eruptor, the eruptor has a hundred meter. Oh dear. It's turning. You should have warned me before that. Yeah, there we go. Because the. Eruptor has a range limit on it before the projectile explodes. We haven't determined what's the exact range on it, but it will explode, so just be careful. Tank. We know. There's no tank. I think that thing is stuck. Two hundred meters? It doesn't seem to be two hundred meters. It seems to be less than that. But I mean, I have no way of like testing right now. But it should be less than two hundred meters. 
it seemed to be a roughly 100-ish. Because like that hills. Okay, let's... Oh wait, I don't have the eruptor on. What am I thinking? <laughs> I was thinking to myself. My, my, my brain, I wanted to test it now and I was like, wait, I'm carrying this stupid crossbow. Although this will work. Now where's the last fab? Oh, my God. oh okay, done. All these requisitions, man. Damn it. It is how it is, buddy. The double wreck. Mm-hmm. Because the game thinks it's necessary. Even yeah. though it ain't. Hey, I finally burned a bot to death. That worked. Ball. Yeah, I hit a barrel and he burned to death. I was like, yes, now experience my suffering. You filthy returned. animal. Now, one of y'all asked how this will do against the Hulk, right? Okay, I'll stun this Hulk first. But the Eruptor is... Wait, sorry, the pen. Hey, wait. The crossbow, wait a second, wait a second. Hold up, hold up, hold the phone. Did that go in? No, it didn't. Okay. Shame. I thought it did. What a shame. Do that. It doesn't damage any other points? No. I'll have to beam the head. I thought it did for a second. I saw a hit. Then I realized it was just this. Yeah, way to drop a ship on me. Well, I realized it was just the theme of Bob. I got the tank, no problem. Three, two, one, and bang, 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 bang. Oh, I love that. Mm, the new bomb makes it feel good. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> I don't know who stimmed, but that was funny. Perfect timing. The laser cannon is definitely good. The laser cannon's range limit is, as far as I know, um, the laser cannon's range limit is about 210 meters. I said it was 200 before, but it's actually a little bit further than that. Just a little bit. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, Ryudo. I just realized, were you talking about the laser cannon? If it's the laser cannon, then yes. It is roughly 200 meters. A bit longer, actually. It's 210-ish. We'll probably get cyborg enemies, hell yeah. I hope so. It'll be fun. For sure. Okay. Open. okay. I knew they wouldn't abandon us. Contact over by you guys, yep. Ah, okay, sorry. I try to keep up with chat, so I thought we were talking about the Eruptor's range. Oh my god, all the humans are stuck. Yeah? Blast the wall. Oh, they're, uh, they're stuck on the heel. Are they? What about my humans? What are my humans? Oh, they're all stuck. Get up there! Standing around in the middle over there. Get up there! I may have beamed one. Aww. Damn, they you erupted on one. You guys okay? You, you uh, you wanna fucking get moving? Hang on, those are. One got in there. <laughs> Oh, Give can, him a minute. Can you melee him inside or push them inside? Oh, they die. Give him a minute. Maybe they'll eventually get on track. At least these ones. 
Okay, okay. no, no, some yes. of them are going in. You, you can on. slightly push them in. Okay, wait. I, I'll, I'll try and push these guys up the hill. Hold on. They must have gotten stuck somewhere. Get in there! You nerds! <laughs> okay, I got uh, one through. I, I got one through. Tank in here. Oh. I'll corral the humans into the pit. Yes. There you go, Glit. Okay, wait, wait. Maybe fight. Okay, no, you almost died. Sorry, Glit. Oh, it's okay. In in the pit. Yeah. Okay, we got six through. We just gotta push them to somehow up the hill. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, one's through, one's through. Yeah, I need help over here, guys. Okay. Believe in you, Glade. Got this. Lol. Believe in your skills as a warrior. No, no, no. This, this Blade Runner is just beating our humans to death. Three more. Three more. And my YouTube crashed again. Love it. Same. I hate how my YouTube keeps crashing like that. It's so annoying. It's been this. It's this new update. The arc cannon buff? Nah, <laughs> not right now. Test it. Test that on these civilians. Okay. That's I mean, at least it. we're getting there. Yeah, at least we, the others are having no trouble. Like, dude, okay. I swear, once okay. these, once they, once they get in there, these these guys are gonna get their attitude adjusted. Uh, I, I you really think it's the wall, me, right? Yeah, but they've never done this before. I can fix this wall. Oh, robot, you see 20 out of 20, right? Why is it not activating? No, no, it's, it's not 20 out of 20. It's 19 yeah, out of 20, buddy. It. It's one more. Yeah, I also have 20 out of 20s. I, I figured I I'd just send, just send more. You no, just now it's 20 out of 20. Yeah. Okay, as for these guys. <laughs> Mass <laughs> genocide. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I don't want to see sieves no more. Far. No, you will not escape. Oh, <laughs> lol. Hey, we need those requisitions, man. What's doing? Hello, robot. I found enough I already today. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. They could have uh -huh. messed up the pathing, yeah. Hello, robot. I'm gonna go I over and see if that example Hello, tank. It's nice to meet you. Wait, arcane. Ooh, phew. 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 <laughs> I'm glad you survived that, but damn. I know I wasn't close enough. You bastard. <laughs> 500. Five hundred, five hundred. Yes, how dare you? When there is a bottle drop. -boot. Grenade pistol? We're not using the grenade pistol yet. We are using the crossbow. And the crossbow is on a scale of one to really bad. Really, 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 really bad. Maybe at least I'll buff it instead of nerf it this time. Come on. Come on. Be friends. You playing with your food again? Just beat him to death. <laughs> <laughs> of course we need to we need the grenade pistol. And then you're gonna get it and you're gonna realize it sucks ass. Oh no, it's because I never use my pistol, having a grenade as a pistol would actually be an improvement. You never use your pistol. This guy, you don't use a big iron! Too bad. Also, I wish I had my ruptor, I wish I had my ruptor! Mm. You want me to die so you can pick mine up and go? No, 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 no. I will, I will sacrifice myself. I'm sure you would, but I, I think... also elect him to sacrifice himself. I'm sure you would, but right now I'm just, you know, going through the suffering. You know, this time I'm cleansing my negative karma, so that I won't get even worse shit happening. So it's now a bad time to drop a freedom flashbang on you. Uh, probably. Freedom flashbang. I free you from your eyesight. Okay. Thank you. 
I appreciate that. I'm banning you now. Bye. Oh. Time for me to suffer next round. Calling in extraction. Trying to figure out what's a good pairing for supply backpack, eruptor, and a support weapon. Request confirmed. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Refill safe. Oh, AMR. sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, why would I have two sniper rifles? I because... need something to fill the niche. Okay. I mean, it works though. It really does. Because you're still able to kill like Hulks and everything else with a faster firing weapon. Well, you know. Okay, maybe. Still that's using your. I don't know. Laser cannon. I've seems... been using it this. Like it might work. But... What was you saying about the laser cannon? Yeah, it might work actually because it's does a, it has a similar niche. I mean, AMR That's is true and obviously it would be awesome for heavier but, targets. Well, I mean, they have the same penetration anyway, so that's why Chat was asking me to try it out. I was like, eh, might might give it a go. You know, why not? Here. What happened to Menken? We lost it, obviously. Idiots. Oh, so it refills two per supply. Interesting, interesting. So the grenade pistol fills the same as normal grenades, which means supply boxes are gonna be double dipped. Lovely. So it's already trash. <laughs> but having eight of them sounds pretty good at least. Is the R36 the best weapon? Who calls them by their codes, man? What's the name of this R36? Don't don't ever give me a code. I'm never gonna remember the code of the weapon. Just ask me. Just ask me. Like, just tell me the name. Okay? They have names. Eruptor, <laughs> crossbow, adjudicator. You know, you gotta you gotta use the name that they're given. You y'all y'all you know you'll tell me some shit like, uh, you know, like BR14. I'm like, the f is this? I don't know what this is. <laughs> The Jarf ZX-12-39. <laughs> Arc-12. It's called the Blitzer, man. <laughs> uh, that's sort of good. I can never remember code. The only code I remember is Jar-5. And that's only because literally everybody calls it the Jar-5 instead of the Dominator, which is really weird. That's literally the only weapon that I remember, sadly. I know, right? Jar-5 is the only one I can remember because instead of calling it the Dominator, you know, have you noticed? Nobody says the Dominator. Everyone says Jar 5. But for all other weapons, right? Nobody says their code. <laughs> Everyone says their name. So the Jar 5 is the only one that does that. Like, nobody says, hey, you ever use the Plaz 1? <laughs> yeah, say, Scorcher. How's the Scorcher? You know what I'm saying? You know, some people say the Plasma. Yeah, oh, but that true. confuses me. Yeah, like Plasma Punisher. We call it, we call it the Plasma Punisher straight up. Yeah, I think it's because jar is a word. Yeah, could be. Call it the PP. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever, man. <laughs> Everyone uncomfortable about calling it the dummy. I mean, you could call it that. Uh, no, there are no, there are not two sickles. One is called the scythe. One is called the sickle. Everyone calls it the sickle. Nobody calls it last sixteen, and the other one's last five anyway. But yeah, it's seriously, side, the sickle, the two different things, man. Okay? Shows some of y'all never played Red Alert. <laughs> and LAS usually indicates it's a laser pipe weapon. Molly, what happened What happened to you? Is that, are you okay? I'm just gonna clean up that spam there. Here's a 10 second. Are you okay, Molly? Did your cat get to your keyboard or something? Cat, I know, right? I, I reckon the cat just walked across Molly's keyboard right there. Anyway, I cleaned it up. It's all good. <laughs> all good, all good. Uh, did, Yuri, what did you just say in chat? The, the, the what? The, 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 the what? No, <laughs> the, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm get, wait, I'm going to go get the shit first. Also, um, I somehow, like... Well, I didn't realize I'd done this, but I slightly cut myself, like, on a piece of skin. Yeah, I'm less, I, and every time I move my arm, it's just like hurting me now. I'm like, er. <laughs> Feels oh, yeah, I wanted to look at that. Nope. Exit. Exit. Exit the pod. Right click and you'll exit the pod. 
And you'll pod the exit awesome. as well. Actually, wait. Now's the perfect time. Arcthor expansion! Woo! Circuit expansion. That is exactly what I'm doing. Exactly. Okay. Let's go expand our circuits. God, that sounds wrong. So behind the resources. Uh, BBS, yawn or talk, man. Yawn or talk. <laughs> One of the two, man. So I was low explaining on. why they make these so expensive. Because I can't afford crap. Well, listen. Of course they make them expensive. You think you think they're gonna make them cheap? No, 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 no. They gotta be expensive. I need super samples. Damn it. Why do you need super samples? Are you not? Ma I think you mean rare samples, right? Because super samples were max, bro. Nope. They only cost like fifteen each. I already, I bought a couple of them already, and I didn't, and I didn't realize that the arc one was down there, so I already pretty, I used pretty much all of my super samples on the other ones. But it only costs you like 15 or 20. The cap is 100 for super sam- for like the pink ones. So well, then I may have not been capped then. Yeah, okay, you probably were But yeah, weren't. no, I need- I only have 20. I need like 80. Okay. You nerd. Yep. Okay, let me think. What was I supposed to bring? Oh yeah, the Lazir cannon. I keep trying it. Swap to this apparently garbage weapon. Oh wait, wait, no, sorry, it's Arctor. Yes, yes, yes. Time for me I'm to gonna try that laser cannon. Yeah, go ahead. I swear, if I like this weapon. <laughs> nah, the the major order, like we could have done it if we all united as one, but unfortunately. The Helldivers all chose not to unite, so because they chose not to unite and be a bunch of nerds, now they're all like, la 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 on some random planets, like, I don't think we can succeed, but whatever. It is what it is, we'll just have to roll with it. Whee! Yeah! This is the solemn duty for which you were born. Right shot! Ooh, I'm erupting all over the place. There's a stratagem jammer somewhere. Dropping a pin. East, 100 oh. meters. Does anyone see the stratagem jammer? Because there's a drone fabricator there, and we, we need to get the hell away. Okay, it's literally up on this hill. Marking location. Um, west, 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 west. There. Okay, I'm with you, okay. Yep. Join me in our demise. Then who's with me? Okay, we got uh, drone ships. Yeah, you guys cannot call in anything with the drone ships. You gotta do the stratagem stra <laughs> jammer first. That's what I'm saying. Get up this hill. No, I can I can call stuff in. The hell? Okay. Well, good luck, yeah. Ben. You guys are in charge of that. I'll handle this. Oh shit. That shit. Put me in! Put me direct towards it. Calling in reinforcements. Oh my god. I almost made it. Yes, can when you up, toss me. Toss me. You're gonna toss me. Yeah, I can't get these guys with this guy. Yeah, Ooh. the eruptor is not good it's at just getting you. Games. I told you guys, you can't use the eruptor the against drones. You gotta have something else. It. Yep. Engaging terminal. Yeah. Totally in a hell bomb. 
Um, no, Cardigan's rule. That is incorrect. They didn't undo what we did on Menkent. We defended Menkent, but of course the automatons will attack that one again, so that's a fundamental misunderstanding. Joel doesn't give an impossible order, only a hard order. And had we united, it would have been secure. So please be aware of that, okay? We failed ourselves on this one. As for skill issue and dropping it with randoms, I mean, I handled the Berserkers by myself. My team didn't help me a lick with that, so... You know, see, you might want to check yourself on that. I get that. I get that, you know, we may not agree on things, but I don't really like your vibe. So I'm going to tell you right now, listen. Take 24 hours to think about it, and then you can come back uh, when you've got a better attitude. I don't say shit for fun. Okay, now I'm going back in. I'm going to hell bomb it. I'm all out of stims. Yeah, go ahead and call in supplies or whatever. Oh my god. I'll get a supply Jeez. pack. I can help. There's supplies here, so it don't matter. Guys, can y'all toss me on the cliff where I just died? Because where my stuff is. Oh my god. They'll be able to after they get your stuff. I'm gonna call in the hell bomb slowly because it got blown up. So why don't I just shoot down your stuff and see if it falls down? It probably won't. Did not. Oh, uh, well, I got my rifle. Okay, now. That's there. Annoying. Sorry, where was the uh, supply drop, did you say? Back here. Okay. Back here is... I see. Okay, got it. I don't know. I'll head there. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and I'll cover you with the quasar. Yes. One one thing that is important, uh, this is for chat, is that when we encounter these major orders, we don't go in with a defeatist mentality. Don't go in with a negative mentality like, oh, we're, we're, you know, Joel can undo what we do. We're already designed to fail. All of this is stupid. This is stupid. And look, if you get offended me calling it stupid, then I'm going to say it straight. It's stupid. Because look, at the end of the day, this is a game. Games have rules. And although we suspend our disbelief, because obviously we're trying to roleplay the whole Super Earth Elite and all that kind of stuff, which is cool, but we must remember, like I said, games have rules. And Joel, he, in case you guys didn't know, now Helldivers.io actually shows the hit points of the planet. Did you know that every planet, instead of being 1 million, all right, do you know it's only got about 600,000 hit points? This makes it so that you can, you can take a planet more quickly, even though the regeneration rate is higher. If we had all united on a single planet, we could have cleared it in 12 hours because it was weaker than a normal planet. It was weaker than a normal planet's liberation. That's the key difference. That made a lot of difference to the amount of time required to take a planet. So it was actually doable if we all united, but we chose not to unite. And because we chose not to unite, you know, people did not fight together. They did not fight as one. And a lot of people also had the defeatist mentality from the start. Like, oh, I'm not going to participate because, you know, we're, we're already destined to fail. Like, that's not the right attitude to have. And that should never be the right attitude to have. You know, at the end of the day, if you're going to play a game, you got to understand it is a game. There are rules to the game. And we should all at least try. We should all at least try to participate in a, in a meaningful way. Sorry, there's a drone up here. Whoever's got the ranged equipment. I can safely say Arco. Okay, you're calling it the, okay, the hell bomb. Yeah, please take out the drones if you got the ranged equipment. Thank you. Got it. Go ahead and arm it. I just realized that the arc thrower. All right. This is why I have to stop using it because uh, the new drones you can't arc them. Like you can arc everything else on the ground, but yeah, I think the actual meta would be better off with uh, the laser cannon. Ooh, careful. I will still test out the arc thrower's triple arc though. Looking forward to that. Moving around, moving around. I know, 3D2Y, and that's, the thing is though, that this, this war, I think they need to be connected to social media. I think it's very important that they do that. I've gotten two new models so far, Artem. Uh, just the circuit expansion and the... Don't touch the UXO, yeah? 
You're not, you're not trying to kill me with it, right? Because I'm going in. Hmm, there's temptation. Okay, um, I know you hate it, but I love it. Found something. The arc door? <laughs> the crossbow. Oh, okay. I mean, hey, you know what? You like it, go go right ahead. Because may you're... It may be because I like the plasma puncher yeah. so much. Similar like, arc. Makes it sense. It is very similar. Mm -hmm. and I, okay. I'm feeling it. All right. I mean, you still can't take out a fabricator, you know, but fair enough. Fair enough. If it is what you like. I mean, the Plasma Punisher couldn't take out one, so. Didn't you say I could shoot, we could shoot it through the door, though? Uh, that's what right? Nightshade said, but I'm unsure. I wasn't able to. They could make the Major Order panel clickable. There's, like, a lot of options for, um, you know. Complaining is popular, Transcendence. That's why I... Dislike Oops. a lot of the content creators that do that kind of stuff. Like, why complain and say, oh, this is an impossible order? Like, bro, who the hell are you? I'm freaking general of the Super Earth Elite. What I say is the law. One day I'm going to be bigger than all of them, and I will lead the forces properly. Because right now the Super Earth Elite is a smaller group, so obviously not everybody will follow our dictates and rules. And if they did, every war would be won. But it is the way of life. So we kind of got to deal with the fact that, you know, Super Earth Elite aren't always... Uh, aren't always going to have the numbers, you know, we're a small elite force, that's who we are. I need a shield. But you are right, negativity is very popular. Even, even in, not in, just in content creation, but outside of that too. Negative posts, negative reviews, things like that tend to get more interaction than positive. Because people like when misery is shared. Pain blew me up. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. And he got blown up too. Circle of life right there. Shit. Are y'all just cascading deaths over there? Are you guys okay? <laughs> we got <laughs> right there. What the hell did you guys do over there? Uh, there was just bots in like all directions, so it was kind of hard to like. Yeah, that's why I, I avoided that area because that's our extraction. We're gonna go there eventually. I was just like, okay, I'll come here and do the objective. Then all of you just dying over there. Damn. All right, I'm gonna leave a supply here. Go get your supply. You have to. Did you get any uh, samples or not? Whatnot? I'll go grab those on our turn trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair. As long as he grabbed the samples, I'm happy. It's the Adi Portan. Okay. Terminal. Oh, gotta reset the fuses first. I got the terminal. Thought it was the last bit. Meh. I just don't pay attention. I just don't pay attention to all that kind of stuff. Like for me, all I care about is uh, facts and true information. If you're talking about the Eruptor, we know already, Sven. We already tested all, all the new weapons. Uh, Ark could hit only two targets before, now it hits three. And you're right, Daniel. People do love drama. Gotta grab samples. Yes, indeed. Okay. What's the terrain like here? Okay. Making progress. Oh, those samples are the extraction. We can get those later. Yeah. We could because I'm Tagging pretty sure. Is that the drone fabricator we struck for? Or is that a new one? Because I'm pretty sure that's a new one. So whoever wants I to accompany agree. me. I have a support for you. Do you, you have a laser cannon with you, right? Okay. Correct. Yeah, you'll be able to take them down then. Okay. Oh yeah, it's working really good for them. It should. At least based on my guesstimate. Sending in an eagle. Sending in a beagle. Oh, 
I'm not gonna triple kill. Thank you for letting me know you could skip the animation if you swap weapons. Um, but I probably won't because I um, don't. Right, heal first. You got a Hulk? Okay, stunning. Okay, nice. Circle around and help him out. I'm okay. I'm just trying to figure out. Did we get the bot drop yeah, on us? Yeah, we gotta get these rocket devastators down first. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. I'm just wondering where the bot drop was, but I couldn't see it. Oh, it's right over here. Okay, because I was trying to journey to the uh, fabricator. So I'm just deleting these bots one at a time. The only downside to the eruptor, I really do like it, but yeah, against hordes, so annoying. That's why I thought that for you, the, uh, the grenade launcher might work no, better. That's all right. But I am um, also looking. Wait, yeah, okay, we might need help out here with the because there's just way too many yeah, bots. Not... Don't know where they all came from. Right here. Okay, going for my samples and stuff. I need some emergency stems here. Call down supply. I already did. Okay. And take him, take him, take him. Because I don't need him. I just got called in. Okay, trying to move in for hell bomb. Scorcher or Demon Arc? No, because unless you're not gonna take the grenade pistol, you cannot deal with a lot of targets that require explosives. So yeah, Scorcher is okay. It's not bad. But there's no one true pathway, DH, because while that might be fine, that loadout has weaknesses as well. So this is why I always tell people there's always certain things that each loadout can do. There are things that each loadout cannot do. So don't be too fixated, yeah? It's also important to coordinate with your teammates where possible. I have a friendship bunker on me. Uh, guys, drones. Wait, I need cover. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, you're on it. All right. I'll get the other one. Oh, the other one down. Okay. Both down. Yep. You will never get a third one. Find the tower. Let no, it's not mine. There are gun. There are gunners here. New mag. And they called a bot drop. Yep. So I've got the hell bomb here, but I need some assistance on the gunners. Go. Oh man, Eagle destroyed the hell bomb. All right, please clear the way. I'm calling another hell bomb. There are devastators here. Devastators here. I also have a tank coming up. I'm gonna try to get it. Okay. Dude. It did. It turns like area. way faster than it should have been able to turn. Understandable. Uh, where'd you die? 
Um, to the left of the tank. I don't know where the tank is. I'll throw you in here. I found him. Okay. I see it. All right. Okay. Tank should be dead. Did he nice. is dead? Yes. Okay. Now you had a friendship bunker somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay. Someone can accompany you for that. Just remember when it's the drone gunships treated like a stalker nest on the bugs, everybody gotta go. Until it's clear. But yeah, I think the arc thrower mm, still I cannot favor it on bots. It's really nice with the triple upgrade on boards, but I cannot favor it against bots because the range is a big limitation and the major issue I feel with this one is that you cannot deal with drones effectively. Because they're always out of range of 35 meters. So that is a big, big one for me. Okay. Making progress. Launch codes are retrieved. Um, I don't think we need to hit this big one. We can go straight to the launch. So I'll head straight for the ICBM. And I'll see if there's anything else along the way. I've tested the crossbow. I don't like it. I prefer the Eruptor. Um, Arcane says he prefers the crossbow. So I think it's going to boil down to personal preference. But the Eruptor can destroy fabricators and a lot of other That's things. Something. The crossbow cannot. So just be aware of that before I using it and you should be fine. Rare Got a rare sample fine. and some metals for us. Nice. Grab the common samples as well. Okay. Yeah, no, I think some people will like the crossbow, some people won't. Like, it's really... Just like how a lot of people didn't like the Plaza Punisher, uh, some people did. So, although I personally don't like the damage on it, and I don't like what it can do, um, I guess there will be those that feel it's decent, and that's perfectly fine. I think, for me, because I'm used to the Plasma Punisher, but... Throwing in an eagle, the by the way. difference yep. is that um, the projectiles are harder to see. So, like, if you're just shooting without scope, it's kind of hard to determine where your shots are going. Mm -hmm. You really have to focus on your, the, those little tiny minuscule arrows. Because they are. They're really tiny arrows. Yep, they are indeed. And I feel that, like, for example, I'm shooting here right now, right? It always feels like I have to aim lower than I normally would. So this is another major thing for me that I do not like about this. At least I feel like the Eruptor um, is good. But, yeah, having to aim or adjust my aim in a weird way is not very fun. But, like with all weapons, there are positives and negatives, so... The Eruptor is good, but it also has some negatives about it, like I just mentioned. Careful, BBS, I'm arcing. So I will not be responsible for any death there if you get, you know, arced. Not near you. Oh, really? Aren't you on the opposite side? Oh, you're quite far, okay. I just saw your name icon there, so I had to caution you. I appreciate <laughs> it, though. thank you. The crossbow, I think, could have been intended as a stealth weapon, but it's explosive, so I'm not really sure how it'll fare on, like, the stealth bases. I'll say I, I would like a true stealth build. Do you have that one person on your team that could be, like, the scout? I mean, that's kind of what I try to play anyways. Oh! I feel like more true stuff would be awesome. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, that is always a possibility. Like a completely silenced weapon would be nice. Mm -hmm. Like that you don't detect. That could be cool. I wouldn't mind something like that. It would make for an interesting playstyle, if nothing else. Um, I do have to say, though, that even with the triple upgrade with the arc, as nice as it is, if you've got three heavy devastators, 
you're still likely to do far way better with like say the auto cannon or whatever because you can just blast them apart as compared to the arc so that's another consideration for those that uh, go and get the triple upgrade Kane's over here wanting to be solid snake eh Jeez. fine to me what happened uh, he walked right in front of my shot and it hit the shield. Oh. Luckily, it was my shield then. I didn't know you were aiming. Ooh. Took off that dude's arm. The Eruptor is very good. I like the Eruptor a lot. Um, it can do many things. Clo destroy fabricators. It's a very, very good weapon. Definitely a solid addition. Opens up some pretty interesting playstyles, I suppose. But, of course, it's not perfect, just like every other weapon. It's got its issues. Like, the scope, it will... You will have to aim lower than your intended target a little bit. Um, that seems to be the current way to use it well. Then the other thing is that if you use it up close, you're going to murder yourself. So it's pretty dangerous in that regard. But I do like it and I like the advantages it gives me. But having the right weapon to support it would also be kind of crucial. So laser cannon and auto cannon, AMR, these seem to be the best ways to go so far. Cancel that. Enemy patrol. Southeast. I don't know. I, I don't mind the premium bond because like all of these weapons, I feel that they're interesting and in a way, they give you more options to play and more things that you can try out. So I'm never against it. I'm never like, you know, like even if the additions aren't like super great, I would still say, eh, it's fair. You know, it's okay. Hello. What? Bring me higher. Okay, sure. That's great. In Glade just took out an entire patrol from like I half the map terminal. away. Too bad I can't like get on the rocket. Uh, Jimmy Sprite, you should know this, but no. you're not supposed to use my channel as a recruitment area. That's considered very, very bad mannered, so don't do that. Um,. It's considered very disrespectful to the streamer, so please do not do that. If you really need people to play with, please go to the official Discord, and you can seek there for other people that might be around your level, but please do not do that on somebody's stream. Okay, it's you're not supposed to do that. Engaging okay, setting it up. Goodbye, Arcane. <laughs> Enjoy your death. It's a good thing I already cleared out the extraction area. I hope so. Do I want to get on the rocket next time and see if it takes me with it? It might. You never know. Did you see that video of someone uh, riding the civilian extraction? Yep, I did. God, I love this game. Huh. Thank you for understanding, Jimmy. Awesome. I'm pretty sure everybody wants customization for armors. Does the Eruptor stagger? Yes. It's actually got some pretty heavy stagger on it. But it's kind of similar. The projectile is similar to the jar. Although it's supposed to blast like on impact, it does tend to bounce off like heavy shields. So you still want to aim for the Devastator's head. But for the most part, you can definitely like get some good kills. True. I mean, they're still counting as premium war bonds because I think the way they've structured this game is that 
the players who are loyal to the game have like been playing for like months and months and months will have everything for free but then basically those that come in later like newer players who might want to play catch up like they won't be able to do that without paying so like unless they really really farm super hard so i think that the way arrowhead has done it is fair like they're gonna make it so they basically made it so that okay so if you want to spend the time you can and get everything for free or <laughs> or you pay and you know you, you get a bit of fast track and i think that that's very fair a lot of games don't really do do even that much this you know right now and i think that that's super sad so the fact that arrowhead's doing it i'm very very happy about it and i think that it's a smart business decision as well because that way like you know as people get into this game and more and more people like people will come in leave come in leave you know that kind of thing and i think that as time goes by It'll be slowly, slowly more important to have those key differences. That way, those that have been like loyal the entire time or played the entire time, you know, supported the whole way, they sort of have that extra benefit of being, you know, hey, I've got all that I need, you know, I've got everything that I have can get free. I think that that's really awesome of them. Well, it is easy to an extent to farm it, but. It still takes time and it can be quite boring. Like, we get hours just by playing the game, but we play the game a lot, so. For me, it's just, eh, as I play, I earn. I'm happy. But for some people, they may not have that much time or they may not even want to participate in farming because, like I said, farming for a lot of people can be a very boring thing. So, for them, if they are willing to spend to help the game out and help the game keep growing and stuff, then I think that's fine. You know, it's a great way. That they can assist the game, assist the developers. Spend a little extra. Oh, damn. Too many heavy devastators. Dude, the range. <laughs> so far from me. I. Did that Hulk just literally shrug off a rail cannon strike? Yes, it did. It, what the hell? It could be an obliterator. Obliterator Hulks are. Bit tougher than normal hulks, so it does make sense. And yeah, the arc door is very nice, but again, it's those swarm situations with the bots that it's just not valuable enough. Decent, but not perfect anymore. It used to be good, like back when this was uh, so-called meta as a frontliner, but now I no longer see a good value from it. Which is a shame. I love the arc thrower. But even with the new yeah. upgrade, it's definitely going to be a bug weapon. If he spent over an hour doing it, then that's pretty legendary. What was that? I don't know either. Because, like, even if he goes into, like, trivial or easy missions and goes and hunts super credits, it would still, I think it would still take more than an hour, Daniel. That, that sounds like a severe underestimation. If he can really do it in an hour, he needs to produce a video and show people how to get a thousand super credits in an hour. Like, four or five hours? That sounds reasonable, but an hour? Don't think so. Unless you already had some beforehand, then that's fine. But uh, from 0 to 1,000, it should at least take a few hours um, going in and out of the missions. Because you have to check every single point, unless you get very lucky. Or, back then, I believe that there were, what, 100 super credit drops? So, yeah. Depends on how much you play Cardigan's Rule. Like me, I bought all the armors, bought all the war bonds, so, yeah. Exactly, Transcendence, they do. But ultimately, like, if the dude can really get a thousand an hour, that's pretty crazy. Well, we definitely, uh, wouldn't be, wouldn't be exploiting that.
Yeah, fair enough, Daniel. I mean, 60 within the whole mission, but you'd still have to run the whole mission. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've never gotten the 100 super credit drops, so I don't know how y'all get lucky with those. Every single time I pick them up, it's 10. I mean, I don't mind. I don't really mind at all. But yeah. Welcome aboard, Helldiver, and congratulations on completing your training. Oh, that exploit track. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, that does make sense. The hour of our no, you'd have to you'd have to basically like find the, the super credit spots. And if you do it like what Trek Hoodie says, yeah, but I would count that as an exploit. I mean, honest to God, if you you shouldn't be that desperate for premium currency. Anyway, let's take a look at things. Mm, what is the war situation like? Yep, fair enough. <laughs> there are like six... I think everybody's gone to fight Terminates. They're, they've all gone to test the stuff on Terminates because there's 64,000 on 4 Prime. Pretty much everyone's given up on the Automaton. So, although 93,000 are fighting on Vernon Wells with uh, 29 on Martail and 24k on Marfark, um... And another 30,000 scattered on Martar Bay and Lasoth. Yeah, we're going to fail all three defenses. So basically, I think everybody's given up on this order. And it just goes to show, like, we've got 287,000 divers on right now. And I think they just have given up, which is really sad to see because we're the type that will fight to the last. So, yeah, I mean, tomorrow I'm still going to be fighting to the last on the Automaton planets. I won't be giving up, but it's a shame. This, this goes to show how, like, I feel that there's a lot of players who have a very fragile challenge level. As soon as something seems even a little bit challenging, they're going to pull back and say, not nah, undoable. But I find that that's really, really sad, you know? I'm For me, personally, I'm the type of person that says, okay, here's a challenge. Let's take it on, you know? So there we go unfortunate but it is how it is all right though thank you guys very much for joining me today it's a shame that i could only test up to the crossbow um in terms of the, the weapons galactic. and in terms of what uh, i've experienced so far Whatever. give me a second let me just quickly go through it um the adjudicator i think is universally agreed that it's pretty pretty not good um even though it's got okay stats huh. it doesn't function as well as i thought it should Thermite Grenade is interesting. Um, it can burn out certain targets, but you have to be very accurate with the weak spots, which make it not so good. Like, if it was something that, like, you throw in a Hulk, it burns through the Hulk, I wouldn't have mind it. You know, it would be like a single target elimination kind of dealio. Like, to take out a very big target, that would have made it very useful, but overall, its damage is not great, so whatever. Um, for the Eruptor, it is definitely the winner of this... Uh, of this whole war bond. Mm, I like what it offers. Um, it's only big issue, I would say, is number one, the bolt action. So you're going to have to be dealing with that slow reload speed. And under some high pressure situations, uh, especially with the automatons, this may not be good. So you're going to have to pair it with weapons that can cover that weakness for you. Um, laser cannon, arc thrower, uh, sorry, um, Laser cannon, auto cannon, AMR. These seem to be the keys for the Eruptor, so I really like them. But the Arc Thor, as good as it is, the biggest difficulty is getting into that range because the Devastators are beaming you from like 70 meters, 80 meters, and you still cannot get in close enough to use your Arc Thor. Even with a shield, not so good. Whereas if you have the laser cannon, you got the auto cannon, you got the AMR, it's just pop their heads, you're done. So. Uh, Eruptor, good, but you need to show up its weaknesses. Next, the crossbow. We're split on this. Arcane likes it, but then again, he uses the Plasma Punisher, so he is already experienced with that. Me, personally, I didn't like it because I did not like the arc of the exploding crossbow, and I also felt that it, as high as the damage is, 
it wasn't really giving me as much value. Also, it cannot close fabricators, but um, the Eruptor can. So, yeah. What game is this? It's called Helldivers 2. Uh, Ark is way better for bugs. Yeah, I think I may try it out on bugs, actually, when, when I get the chance. Because it seems like with this new stratagem module, it might actually work better. And together with Napalm upgrades, yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll farm up the metals needed for the grenade pistol, and we should be good to go. Mm, I mean, I'll still be fighting automatons, still holding Vernon Wells, but... Yeah, tomorrow morning, I'll definitely check this out. I just need to see what the grenade is. Like, I don't know, because the main thing is that I don't know if it's uh, if it's going to be, like, a high X type or an impact type. So I, I really got to check it out. Yeah, unfortunately, all of us bot divers are spread out on five planets so or more. So, yeah, the bug player is going to bug, but, you know, oh, well. Oh, well. What can we do, right? If people don't want to unite, that's on them. You know, there's nothing much we can do. But thank you very much for joining the show today. It was extremely pleasant. I really enjoyed myself, and I hope you guys will enjoy some of the new weapons in here. If you guys feel that you can make the crossbow or the adjudicator work, don't hesitate to use it. My feedback is just that, okay, so I've gone through this. This is what I feel, but you guys can come to your own conclusions. All right. It needs a bigger radius. I would hope so, but either way, I'm only going to use it for fabricators and bug holes, so... I don't care how much radius it has, just that it's explosive and I can properly use it. So that's going to be the biggest thing that I'm going to check. But yes, thank you guys very much. I appreciate the presence of the Super Earth Elite. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good one.